Uh, hello, uh, everyone. Hello, hello. Hey. Howdy. Oh, hey. Hey, what's up? Bonjour, bonjour. <laughs> oh, what's up, man? Nah, not much. What's... Squinting? No, it's, it's nothing. <laughs> nothing. Nothing, nothing. <laughs> nothing, man. Who want my man why are you acting like bread. that? I don't... I don't think I want to... I think I just want to move on from whatever this is. I just, uh... Dread is creeping up on me right now. <laughs> yeah, best you do. Best you do. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> God damn. It's oh. best we just don't address it. Okay. I'm a, I'm cool with that. I, I'm a big fan of just putting my head in the sand, you know? Uh, Christ, am I really running three games for Joe and Crowned right now? Are you... What's up, gamer? <laughs> yeah, do you want to stop taking up so much of my time, dude? <laughs> yeah, I would like my weekend back, asshole. Jesus. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Whoopsies. Uh, uh, Ruh-roh. Uh, we have a good... Every up. time I look at the YouTube comment section, it's always, why does fucking Crowned in every one of Brett's games? Because I like Crowned. Get this guy out of here. Because I like Crowned. Get over yourselves, okay? <laughs> uh, oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, man. That, uh, that turned out nice. All right. So let's jump in, because uh, we got a lot of... Uh, we got a That's lore. You, no, no. <laughs> I did... <laughs> Sorry. The, first, the first thing I did, the first thing I warned the party, I was like, hey guys, or no, sorry, the, the chat, I said, hey guys, just so you know, this is the murder session, okay? This is, <laughs> this is the crusade. This is, yeah, it's gonna get dark. It's literally an extermination <laughs> of like living, thinking creatures yeah. with like <clears throat> full understanding of what's going on. What's gonna be. Them especially fucked because i have no idea how much experience is still out there what's going to be really fucked is after you clear you know uh the castle and thunder tree uh if there's still experience left because then all that's left for you before arriving at the wave echo cave is uh is fandolin uh and that's uh that's gonna be Tonight we I, i'm over gonna be blood, honest motherfuckers. <laughs> honestly with how these people have been acting I feel like we could kill them really fucking fast. And they wouldn't know what to do. Okay, <laughs> so. I think these guys are idiots. <laughs> so let's uh, let's let let me uh, let you know. All right, uh, anyone that doesn't have a stat block, I'm, I'm going to give you some insider information. Okay, in case you did want to, you know, commit genocide. Um, <laughs> anyone that doesn't have a stat block is considered a commoner. A commoner is a CR zero, which means. If you kill a commoner, you get 10 experience points. Well, that's not zero, oh, is the problem. Okay, yeah. so we just have to kill, what, 900? <laughs> what 900 commoners, huh? Kill a cool 900 people. <laughs> that's easy. You pull them all together in an event, and then we cast fireballs. This is... This I'm is... gonna throw a parade! <laughs> God damn, dude. This, uh, this d, &D game. Is there, like, a insight check someone mm. can do to see if something has a stat block at a, at a glance? Mm. Uh, uh, yeah, you could probably do, like, an investigation check or, uh, you know, try and size someone up if you, right, if cool, you really want to. Cool, 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 yeah. cool, 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 cool. There, there, are, there are a lot. Is that intimidation? Oh, there are, shit. No, I, hang on. I think the only uh, uh, what, if with a ten. Uh, hey, does this lady look like? How much stats do you think this lady have? Well, uh, <laughs> she didn't have a stat block, so she is definitely a commoner with uh, healing, see. with with, uh, with magic, with a little bit of magic. So I'd, I'd probably give her. She's the town fucking priest. You're gonna. Kill. Yeah, which is why we'd kill her first. So she, <laughs> she can't heal the others. What's she ever done for us? <laughs> like, if we have to tactically dispatch the town for XP, we. Kill the healer first. Yeah, that's she, the way to go about she it. She gave you no, potions yeah. of healing uh, for finding out about the spell book with Agatha. Uh, she healed. She also charged Ryan like 25,000 gold for a limb, so. Uh, well, yeah. She's that's, not very generous. Yeah, that's, that's how true. much it She can't cast God damn American healthcare out here in Fandola. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't think we were turning to that, but here we go. Uh, before we get started, let's do some fan art, yeah? Oh, Ooh. yeah! Let's do a little bit of, a little bit of fan art. And then we will, uh, start the crusade, the, the murder ex excapade. Oh, we got, ooh, we got a bunch of new people. By the way, uh, for those that posted fan art, um, a bunch of people reposted fan art in our new, uh, forum or something like that? I don't know. I think... 
I think uh, Discord now has a forum thing with uh with oh with cool different yeah I don't I I <laughs> I don't know I as to say I don't know so we now have a fan art forum uh, where each each of the threads or whatever is going to be uh, each campaign so if you have fan art that you posted previously uh, go ahead and post it up on there and then we will be we will happily show it off <clears throat> but for now. Let's take a look at this, uh, this fine fella. Oh, baby boy. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this mm. is, this is, uh, this is Sit's, uh, since Sit was the one that originally, uh, designed, uh, Gabriel, correct? Indeed. So, uh, yeah, this is, this is just continuing to flesh out that look. I love, uh, the overcoat, by Same. the way. Mm -hmm. Big fan of that. Um, oh, this is, uh, right there. <laughs> That was something that was asked of me uh, out of game. Was oh, okay. asking about uh, the wedding rituals between uh, between Veldrin and Gabriel. Cute, wonderful. Madness take you. This is awesome. Holy shit! That's cool. Cool. Oh Thank damn! You. Thank you so oh, much, Xcat. Does the barcode work? <laughs> this the <laughs> beep. Five thousand dollars. Uh, <laughs> he's free. Oh, Michael. Oh, I miss him. The pile of freaking like goo and Avernus right now, right? Why can't you? That works. Why can't you Correct. just miss a creature? It's like a fu he's gonna be doing that for the next couple thousand years. Uh -oh. <laughs> You're gonna bring chill, back. It's a common time. Yeah, Rip Bozo. You know what I mean? <laughs> Rip Bozo, indeed. God, look at the king. Yo, Yo. king under the mountain. I don't know which mountain yet, though. I'd absolutely, I'll pick that's, one. That's my king right there. I believe it. Thanks, man. Oh my god. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Damn. Guys, fucking shredded. Let madness take you all. Cool. It did not. There. <laughs> Do I love like the fracturing around it? That's pretty sick. Oh no. Oh, oh my Ew. god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's just All a right. guy. All right. <laughs> a warmba right there. It's just a little <laughs> frunkly. Junie, literally right now. <laughs> <laughs> what? Huh? <laughs> it's so smooth. Okay. It is, yeah, it's like shiny. This, this, po <laughs> this, this picture fucking got me. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Holy fuck! That's a you really nose. You really see like the pain in his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Magnus. Oh. oh my god. That's dope. Take a look at this bad boy. Aww, cute. Damn. Yo. Love it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> cool, cool. He's like a blorb. Uh oh. 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 Ah. I love this style. Yo. Yo. What the fuck? Last oh thing you see is a goblin. Yep. That's cool. Like his James Bond opening. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, this is yeah, this is the last uh, session That's before so cool. before Halloween. So here you True. go. Oh. <laughs> That's Pumpkin so Tommy. good. <laughs> Werewolf Turk. Holy shit. Damn, dude, we look so good. <clears throat> Just a little guy. <laughs> Just a oh, little nice. guy. <sighs> His eyes are so full of light. <laughs> I didn't hear no bell. <laughs> oh no, Michael! <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, I didn't make the connection. I don't even know if you made the connection, Tomato. Uh, you named the next uh, your next imp Barry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. See, interesting name. That's all I'm gonna say. 
I was oh. like, yeah. Oh, no. Where's my gun, <laughs> Sylvester? Oh, no. Someone was so I could make another. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> I can make another. No, it's, it's, we it's gotta too... put this one down. I can, I can kill it. Dude, you wouldn't believe how little remorse I have for putting this little shit in the ground if I have to. <laughs> I think, I, I, think I, I would believe it. I think I would absolutely believe it. Yeah, I think chat pointed that out, and I was like, what? Oh, yeah. God, I completely forgot. I don't know. It's just like an easy, like, silly name, you it know? It is. It's, where, where do you think Barry even came from? Come on, guys. It was an easy, silly name. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there we are. Uh, you, you spelled uh, Barry, like a B-E-R-R-Y, like a, like a juicy berry. Or not. I don't know. You do what you want. Okay, so... That wraps up. Oh, wait, I should probably stop streaming that. Excellent. Let us begin, shall we? You all have arrived back uh, over in Fandolin, and you have uh, not only slain King Grohl, who has been uh, manipulated by some unknown and outside forces. Uh, you managed to rescue uh, one of the Rockseeker brothers, Gundren, who originally sent you uh, on this quest. Uh, Gundren, uh, let's see one second. I almost said Gundam, God. Damn it, Judy. Um, Literally rent-free, dude. It is. It's. I can't. It's in my freaking brain. Uh, as a friendly reminder, uh, Sildar, Gundren, and uh, Valenth uh, were the ones that sent you on this quest. So, uh, you managed to rescue Gundren. He was knocked unconscious. You dragged his body home. Uh, in the middle of that, uh, Gundren woke up and was like, I need to, uh, and, and just immediately was in a panic because uh, Gundren did not have the map to the Wave Echo Caves. Uh, he was desperately trying to, ready to, yeah, he was desperately trying to uh, head back to the castle so that he could find the map and be able to get back into the caves. Uh, eventually, before he did that, uh, you revealed that you guys had the map. You were able to find the map uh, easily uh, after searching uh, King Grohl's uh, area. Uh, by the way, when you fought King Grohl, King Grohl had a giant dire wolf, uh, as well as you were fighting the Black Spider, or so you thought. After easily dispatching of the Black Spider, you will watch. You watched as their clothes and forms kind of melted back uh, into their original form of a doppelganger, beheading everyone. Uh, you guys traveled uh, back to the south, uh, the uh, interactions with the Gundren happened. You revealed that you had the map. Gundren was thankful. Was like, "Gimme, gimme." You guys were like, "No, no, 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 <laughs> no. We're gonna, we're gonna hold on to this map." Gundren didn't appreciate that, so you guys uh, returned back uh, to Fandolin. Uh, Gundren brought up uh, that you guys are currently holding on to the map uh, and said that he would be very happy uh, if the party would go with him to Wave Echo Cave uh, to clear out uh, any fearsome foes uh, that may be present there uh, over to Sildar. Uh, Sildar, I think, rewarded you all for uh, 800, what, what was it, like 500 gold pieces or something like that? 800. 800. Uh, Which split up amongst the party. Yes. Uh, making sure that we, did we split that amongst the party? You did. Okay, good. Awesome. Because I have 271. Oh yeah, you were broke as a joke. Oh yeah, right. there there it is. Uh, Tommy Turner has uh, 494 gold pieces. Turg has 506 gold pieces. God damn. damn. Sylvester has 295. Gabriel also has 271. Sildar also, also pushed uh, Gundren to basically give us a cut of yes. the Wave Echo profits. Yes, uh, because Sildar uh, had no more money because he gave it all to you for That's rescuing... Right. Uh, for slaying uh, the Kragmaw goblins and uh, rescuing Gundren. Um, but still, uh, no Valenth. Uh, we're not really certain where she currently is. You also haven't explored the castle in its entirety, so uh, perhaps you may see her on your travels. Uh, but after all that, uh, yeah, Sildar uh, kind of pushed Gundren to be like, well, uh, untapped mines. What if you give him a little something from, you know, little from from your excavations, which Gundren loved. He loved so much that he decided to sleep for the rest of the day. So, uh, <laughs> fucking yippee. <laughs> so he went to bed. He was blooded. He's he's taking his log rest now. 
Uh, and that is where we wrapped up the session. Uh, you guys had originally discussed uh, returning back to the castle to exterminate all of the goblins. Uh, we are right after uh, everything went down, which means you have not taken a long rest yet. As I'm looking at everyone. Oh, you probably did take a long rest of the road because everyone's got their spells and there's a full- Yes, we took a long yeah, rest yeah, and then we I found out the new method, which is long rest, then Turd buffs us with his die, oh, wow. and then short rest. True. Oh, so it actually would be 550. Okay, so you already took your long rest. Yeah, because I think it was like during like the evening hours that you would have arrived over here. All right, that works for me. I think that's what it was anyways, because yeah, I did the eight hours. Uh, let me check one quick thing just to make sure I've got my timing correct. I will mute YouTube. What a moment, everyone. Lost. session. I have to see if it is dark or not. Oh, yeah. So there we go. Let me just go ahead and see when you were talking. It was day. Yes. All right. So you guys uh, wake up bright and early uh, over in the inn. Uh, you also, I think, paid for the entire season. Uh, so you guys are are good to go uh, over at the over at the inn. Um, any sort of morning rituals we need to to know about that you guys would be doing? And then oh, and then the final thing is, uh, what exactly is Turg doing? You said Turg Turg, uh, Turg does a thing and then takes a short rest. Yeah, no, I uh, I when we woke up from the long rest, I yes. did my rally feature. Okay, uh, did we roll it last time? I think we did. Let me see. Yes. Because uh, I have cut. eight temporary yeah. hit points. Yeah, time. And I get temporary hit points out, and then I had a short rest to get it back. Okay. Did you get short uh, temporary hit points for yourself? No, I can't do it to myself or any other people. Uh, Tommy only got seven for some reason. Do you roll individually? Yeah, it's individual. Ah, gotcha. Then you rolled very good for everyone because uh, we've got... Ah, uh, yes, and Sylvester has three, but it doesn't matter because he has armor bag at this, which mm -hmm. will give him ten temporary hit points. Excellent. Yeah. Oh, perfect. All right. So you guys, uh, you do the morning ritual of giving everyone temporary hit points. You snooze for another hour. Boop, uh, and then uh, you get back. Uh, as you guys descend down, uh, Gundren is looking a little bit better. Um, he'll be sitting and enjoying a cup of coffee as you sort of descend. He folds his arms a little bit as he looks up to... Uh, who, would, who would be up first? Kind of like walking down into the... Uh, into the dining area of the inn. It'd be Gabriel because he only needs four hours. Oh, that's true. So he'd have he'd have come downstairs to meet Gabriel, who's already in the process of sort of helping uh, the barkeep. <laughs> I love that it can't, you can't even let him like be the first one downstairs. You're like, uh, no, 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 nope. no, <laughs> <laughs> no. We're not fucking doing that. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> while you guys are sleeping, still, um, that sounds good. Let me go ahead and sort of one, two, three, four. It's like 150 in the morning. Um, I think actually, yeah, no, because see, this is when you would, would have wakened up. Uh, yeah, at 5 a.m., the uh, the you would you would have uh, Toblin come down and he'd be like, Oh, uh, uh Gabriel, hi, hi, how you, how you doing, kid? I've been well, just sort of been minding my own business. Mm. Well, just you know, keep. Keep your keep your chin up, you know. What oh. the? So are you? Uh, what do you need? You need some coffee. You need a little bit of toast. What do you? What, you want some breakfast? Well, your generosity allowed me to stay here for a while, so I figured if nothing else, I can pay it back. You need any help this morning? <laughs> oh, uh, you're a sweet kid. Yeah, come on over. And so he's gonna like walk over to the back, and you know he's gonna clean some of the dishes that had been left behind from the uh, the previous evening. Uh, kind of like finishing all that up. It's just been kind of soaking in the old, in like this old, some almost rusted iron basin as he's doing that. Um, and you'll kind of help clean and pre prepare a bunch of the, the, the meals. Uh, brewing some of the coffee. Yep. You'll hear... A lot of, um, a lot of uses of Presti. Yeah. I don't know how you're able to do that. Wish I could. Wish I had your skills. <laughs> Absolutely. 
you'll sort of hear this like heavy footsteps descending down the stairs of a stocky individual. They'll look over, uh, like over on the other side of the kitchen, uh, and you'll recognize Gundren sort of walking downstairs. Oh, it's the, uh, it's the new guy that you brought back. What's the yeah, story, Gabriel? Uh, well, I don't know him all too well, but Tommy does. But, uh, apparently he's the one who started this whole thing. The reason a bunch of adventurers even came through. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Hmm. He's also a bit of a grouch, but... Oh, well. And he kind of shrugs a little bit. It's like, yeah, I, uh... <laughs> I know a little bit about that. That's, uh... That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Uh, well... Let's see if we can't make him ungrouchy. Yeah? He pats he you on the shoulder. Go bring hey. him his coffee. <laughs> hey, how's it going, Gundren? And Gundren looks up and he's like... Oh, I, you know, you know of me. Yeah, the word travels around quick around town. So, I, uh, understand, uh, you're, you're the one that, uh, I think is, is supposed to bring prosperity to the town, yeah? Uh, for I, that's, that's what me and my brothers are doing. We're looking for the, uh, the Pact of Fandelva. Over in the, in the Echo Caves. Uh, I, uh, have a, he pats a little bit and then remembers he no longer has the map. He'll clear his throat a little bit and say, uh, I have the map to the mines. It's a good place. We're going to turn this town around. You'll see. Yeah. Well, personally, I like the town just the way it is. Coffee? He gets quiet a little bit. It's like, uh, yeah, I think I... <laughs> I'll have a... I'll have a mug, yes. Mm-hmm. He walks over, and he's just kind of walking in, and he looks over at Gabriel. I'll, uh... I'll get him his coffee. I'm still hmm. waiting for the others to wake up before we head out. Yeah, okay. Uh, keep him company. I mean, sure. who knows? Maybe he'll actually do some good for this town. With any luck, maybe. Hmm. <laughs> You're gonna watch as like Gundren's twiddling his thumbs, and he watches as the sm are you smirking as you come out? Is that the early? He's little... always. It's basically the his expression is it's per like a permanent expression on his face. Mm -hmm. And uh, he'll sort of at that point, kind of like look up at you, just go, hmm. morning. Morning. Hope you slept well in an actual bed. When you say that, he kind of sighs a little bit as if, like, you know, he's been worked up, but honestly, the, sli the sleep did well uh, before he kind of nods a bit and, say, and he'll say, Ugh. Normally, I'd give people a hard time for sleeping on such soft mattresses. However, it was appreciated this time. I'm feeling much better. See, I don't know you, so I've only ever heard of you in passing. But Tommy knows you, and Tommy spoke pretty highly of you. So I'm going to assume that you're still important, which is why you've been sort of brought back into the now. Don't, um, don't hold it in such a poor light. A lot of people have died to bring you back. Oh, 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 shit. Um, give me a persuasion check, but roll it at advantage. Okay. So as he, you say that, he kind of like looks forward a little bit with a, and you kind of see him getting worked up a little bit. And then as you say that, his face sort of, softens and he looks down his lips quiver a little bit and he'll say how many four of them one of them was my husband 
he looks up and his mouth just drops and he covers it a little bit and you actually see a tear swell up in his eyes and he looks forward. He's wearing this this, this hat, you know, because he was he was gonna get ready to look around me. He takes off the hat and he puts it down. And he covers his mouth. And a silence falls in the room. And he sort of just like looks forward over at you. And finally the silence was is broken as he just stares at you and says oh, lad I must admit I was rather angry for how you treated me yesterday however the one truth that kept me up was the fact that I would not be alive today if it wasn't for what you and your compatriots did. Even though I felt that you stole something from me, I knew that I had to find forgiveness and find the strength. And I was afraid, dear Vlad, that I wasn't going to, that I was going to be stubborn enough not to say, to give you my thanks. But with this news you bring to me, the death of your, your husband, and all those that have fallen, just to save one foolish dwarf's life. Reckless, stupid. I understand. The hand very gently comes up, sort of taps him on the shoulder, and then gives it a, a soft squeeze. It'll still be your discovery. It'll still be you and your brother's names that get plastered on it. The glory will be yours in the end. He, he just slams his, like, he just slams his hand down on the table and he's looking up and you see his, his eyes just getting mistier as the conversation goes on. I suppose it's the least what I could offer for the sacrifice that you all have, have clearly gone through. I, uh, I was wondering why that young man was traveling with different companions than the ones we had sent out. <sighs> I've been such a fool. Please. I, uh, I give you my thanks easily. But if you are willing, accept my forgiveness for the loss of, the senseless loss of life that has happened on, on my part. Thank you, Gandron. It puts my heart at ease. I'm going to wait for the others. I hope you enjoy your coffee, and if you need anything this morning, just call for me. He'll smile and just say, You've done plenty, lad. Thank you. And he'll just quietly sip his coffee. Gabriel's going to wait for the others. As, yeah, as you, by the way, one of the things you're going to see is Toflin has been in, like, the doorway between the <laughs> kitchen and the bar. And he's just, his eyes are opening wide and he's staring everything down and he's just shaking his head. He's just like, holy shit. <laughs> and, <laughs> and as you turn around, you'll actually see him just rush back into the, into the back of the, uh, the, the kitchen. He just immediately like, like, just <clears throat> <laughs> it up here. Just it up. The town gossip. Oh, Understood. yeah. Yeah, to <laughs> Toblin is a better enjoy the last of this gossip when he has the chance. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> um, 
an hour will pass, the short rest will commence, uh, and the rest of you will come downstairs. Um, you all will see Gundren sitting at the table. Uh, what's, what are you doing, Gabriel? Um, he'd be, so I guess sort of just silently sort of sitting there enjoying, uh, his breakfast, which he gets to pay for now because he has a ton of money that he's never really had before. Um, and I think, ooh. Uh, God, uh, if you, if you accepted, Gundren would offer, uh, you a seat at his table. Absolutely. Even, I think, uh, even if it be, even if it is, is in silence. I think Gabriel would have tried. When did the stores open? The stores open at eight. It is currently okay. six fifty. Never mind. He'd be eating some breakfast with, uh, with Gundren, just sort mm -hmm. of. Uh, regaling him with stories that he heard from Veldrin, dealing with the uh, dealing with the red brands, dealing with glass staff, uh, helping the alchemist, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, he is just amazed. He'll like drink. He he appreciates the stories that you regale him with, uh, and then he'll he'll turn around and he'll he'll just say, uh, <laughs> "You know, you're." Uh, uh, you you it remind me of uh <laughs> of, of one of my brothers, uh, two I have in fact. Uh, we're the ones that found the bides, and he kind of lights up a bit, getting a little bit excited. Uh, he talks about uh his brothers uh, Thardin and Nundro, and mm. you just kind of see as he as he uh just sort of talks um about everything. Uh, he will be like, it remind me of uh. Specifically, Thardin, uh, he <laughs> had, a, had a had a sense of justice about him. Uh, made sure nothing was gone wrong. I, I was mm, bullied a lot as a as a child, and Thardin was always there. Mm. I miss my brothers. I hope to reunite with them at the mines. Uh, they may actually still be there. I was supposed to be meeting them soon. Perfect. Well, after our little foray into the castle again just to make sure no other goblins come and take you away. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll go meet them. I sure would like to meet this one, this uh, Thardren, you call them. Mm -hmm. Oh, a Nundro. I mean, <laughs> Nundro's got the, the spirit of an artist who likes Nundra. to sculpt with the, loves to sculpt the stone. <sighs> Beautiful. Um, while you guys are discussing this, uh, the rest of the party will descend down. Yeah. And Tommy he... Yeah, go on. Comes down the stairs. His hair is like... He has, like, bed head. It's, like, ruffled in, like, Aww. this really adorable way. He looks like a little baby chicken. <laughs> he, like, yawns. He's like... Ah, I slept amazing! Oh, Gundren! Gundren, you're already up! Tommy's gonna run up to him. Gundren, are you still angry with me? <laughs> what the fuck? Sorry. It looks like you passed hold. things up. <laughs> Are you still angry with me, Gontran? Oh. Did you sleep on it? Gun <laughs> what the fuck? Gontran is stunned because as you guys are walking downstairs, he he looks a little bashful. He looks down. He's ready to have the hard conversation. And you just come up, this little guy with the chicken bed head, and you're just all gleaming. And he looks at... <laughs> Tommy, he looks and then looks back at Gabriel as sort of like, like just looking for a side. There's a, there's a, he sort of turns to look at Tommy offering this very what? warm smile. He'd sort of pat at the chair beside him. We already had a discussion, at least this morning. Uh, Gundren steps in and says, uh, uh, no, lad, I'm, I'm not angry. In fact, Speaking with Gabriel, I understand you've been through quite the adventure, it sounds like. Tommy beams. All right, I knew you'd understand eventually. <laughs> he sits down. <laughs> Gungeon doesn't know whether to be impressed with Tommy's moxie or saddened with ev about everything that Tommy has been through thanks to Gabriel's story, that stories that he's been, that you, he's heard. You know why I'm doing this to you, right, Gundren? 
Mm -hmm. I imagine Gabriel explained most of it. He nods. If I just see the mites for myself, uh, maybe it'll all start to have a kind of meaning. Right? You know why I'm doing this, right? <laughs> <laughs> His smile drops again. <laughs> And he closes his eyes. He tries to keep it together. He breathes. And he nods. And says, I lad. Once we get to the mines. You'll see. It, it was all worth it. In the end. I hope so. Thank you. Tommy. For everything. He sparkles. <laughs> he glitters. <laughs> hmm. Um, Turg, what are you doing when you kind of like come downstairs? He's gonna go sit straight at the table, kind of pull up some breakfast, lean across, take like a sausage off of uh, Gabriel's plate, eat it <laughs> as if he's just kind of like expected to share. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, and, and Gundren, um, very common in in. Uh, Dwarvish culture, specifically within like the same family households, um, he'll roughly push his plate that still has food on it over to you as a sign of it's it's a it's a dwarven sign of of, of sharing a family uh, that what you earn you also give back to your clan, and so mm. this this motion he just kind of pushes the the plate over, offering it to you. And uh, hit, yeah. Turg will like reach into his pocket and kind of it almost a uh, sound of respect back breaks off like a bit of ration he was chewing at night and just kind of put it over uh, towards him. It's got a little bit of saliva still on it. It's bitten mm -hmm. into, but he passes it across. Oh, he, he doesn't care. Yeah. His, his, uh, his <laughs> meal instead. He nods. Like, well, what we then? I yeah. remember the gun on the day. Now we then. I don't like that. Yeah. And then he uh, grabs it, takes a bite until he'll say uh, in Dwarvish. Are we good, Turg? Oh, <laughs> I, I, nothing between us, my friend. I. Hmm. Your friends here have told me quite a tale. Oh, have they? Hmm. That's good to hear. Well, anyway, I, it's kind of rude to speak at the table like this. I don't, I won't, well, you know what I'm saying. I didn't need to think of my tongue. Uh, but hmm. mother thinks I'm just really having that money. <laughs> they don't think of it. It'll be fine. And this okay. is some. This is something that we'll all share in the glory of together. Together. Hmm. Yeah, bro. These mines were a discovery of 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 my of myself and my brothers. But if you'll allow it, I would like it to be your discovery as well. We'll all share in the glory. <laughs> he raises his mug of coffee. Gabriel joins him. Uh, yeah, Tug will join halfway. Yeah, Tommy's very hesitant. He doesn't <laughs> really want that, but he's like, yeah, 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 all right. Mm -hmm. Sylvester's still making his way very slowly down the stairs and has been for it's about like the last 20 minutes. minutes. Crackling. <laughs> Every once in a while, you just hear like a little crackle in the distance. <laughs> Awful. <laughs> As he's just kind of but like, he'll, he'll be there by the time you guys are ready to leave. Mm -hmm. Um... <laughs> Does, does he need help? <laughs> Looks over at Sylvester slowly coming down. You hear the joints cracking. What? <laughs> I know he did that eventually. He's a real tough guy. All right. <laughs> I think Gabriel would summon Mage Hand to help, uh, <laughs> to help, uh, to help Sylvester down the stairs. Does it help yeah, Sylvester? I mean, does it help Sylvester? Does Mage Hand have any kind of check it can do to see if it helps Sylvester or fucking shoves this old man right down the stairs? Uh, it basically it basically just sort of floats around you and sort of offers like another point of contact. So you uh, you can like hold on to the hand while you walk down the stairs using the rail and the hand. Oh, thank you. The strange floating hand. 
Bro. It speeds Sylvester's trip up by about seven minutes. <laughs> 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 while while that's all going on, uh, Gudrid will lean over and go, Right. So I understand that you've got some, some business to attend to. Oh, it, right. We have to go back to the castle, don't we? Because no, 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 without a leader, I, I don't want the goblins to start running amok. Yep. Yeah. Yes. We have to go put them down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We gotta exterminate them. Mm-hmm. Clear, clearing all the Kragmog goblins would, would would help the town out of plenty. And there's still uh, more preparation that I need to do. Uh, oh, I meant to ask you. I haven't had the chance to talk to Sildar about it yet. Um, uh, Tommy. You remember, what? you remember Valenth, right? The, the the elvish woman that was eyebrows. Hmm. Yep. Yeah, yes. Right. Actually, she said I. She complimented my magics. Hmm. You happen to have to to see her, have you? Um. She, you know, now that you mention it, <laughs> <laughs> I've got a clue. So she's still out there. Yeah. Oh. Well, she might well, be at the castle. Yes. You mentioned that you were going to clear the castle, where the, the place was massive, and that was the last time I saw her. Wait, was she in there with you? Mm-hmm. We were both taken. Uh, they took Sildar over to a cave of some sort, and then myself and Valenth were taken to the castle. And then you got separated. Hmm. Uh, they were keeping Valenth somewhere else. Right. If you uh, find her in any condition, uh, I think me and Sildar would, would greatly appreciate it. We can't offer you much as, as of yet. I don't have a single coin to my name. And Sildar's paid you everything, but I, uh, I assure you, uh, the wealth of the mines will, will see you through. I was going to ignore those fancy rings of his and shit. <laughs> I don't have a coin to my name. He dangles his fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Right, we'll do our best to rescue her, if we see her. <clears throat> I, I, I appreciate that, thank you. Well, he starts to get, he gets up, and, he's, and he just goes, it's time for me to handle my preparations. Uh, I'll be around the uh, inn when you're ready. Uh, once you are, let me know, I shall accompany you to the mines. Will do. Uh, he gets up, and he will leave... The end. Sounds like one more quest then. I. Another quest. Well, I'm ready to go. I have one minute. <laughs> oh, he's still. Yeah. All right, he's still making his way. We do okay. have to make sure Grandpa gets his breakfast at least. No, 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 no. Does he need to take vitamins? No. Um, we're gonna wait sixty seconds uh, uh, to symbolize Sylvester going Thank down you. the stairs. <laughs> Thank you. That's really immersive. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, here we go. <clears throat> All right, I'm here. All right, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> you're okay. such a you're such a pussy, dude. <laughs> 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 we have places to be, dude. <laughs> All right. Uh, so let me uh, check a thing here. Oh, uh, I'm going to take dark vision off. Woohoo. Can I get those port and rolls, Tommy? I would love to do some port and rolls. One in a 20. One in a 20. Ooh. Ooh okay. Four. Okay. Not bad. Okay. I can cook. Right. I can cook with that. Four and a fourteen mm. is not bad. It's not That's bad. a fucked up hold person situation right there. It is a fucked up hold person situation. We'll see. All right. Uh, the stage is yours. What would you guys like to do? Onward to castle. Do All we right. want to buy stuff from the shop first, like caltrops and everything? You think this doofus has restocked? Maybe. <laughs> Because we had to like we established we had to go all the way to fucking Neverwinter to get any more caltrops because this guy had one pair of caltrops, Ooh. one thing of them. Uh, let's go to Barthen's Provisions and see what he has. All right, 
Uh, give me one second. Uh, I will be oh. doing a restock. Oh He's got cow traps. He has cow traps. Buy him! Hey, okay, I, buy, I, have to, I have to point this out because I keep noticing it and I keep forgetting. This is this is Barthen, right? Yes. Okay, uh, does anyone else think he looks like Ralph Fiennes? <laughs> like from Red <laughs> Dragon from the menu? <laughs> Oh my God! Holy shit! Wait, like it's actually been this. driving me crazy this entire oh game. Oh my <laughs> Come God! Come to Mr. Potter. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Now that you pointed that out, absolutely. All man, right. You got ref finds in your game. Good casting, Damn. dude. Yeah, man. Choice. <laughs> hey, what can I say? Uh, who's <laughs> buying the cow traps? I have money. I don't think I'm I can afford them. Caster, I don't fucking spend money. Yeah, I think I we would need to give money. them all to Turk. Yeah, I'll buy them if, uh, what are they, five coppers each? Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's pricey, man. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, oh. I'm going to buy all nine. Okay. And then I'm going to give them to Turk. Okie dokie. Let's go to Turk. Uh, I drag the Caltrips over buy. to Turk. I also gonna... got to sell my old chainmail, by the way. It's super heavy. Okay, yep. Go ahead and uh, I will open up. Uh, once you're done here, you'll head on over to Lenine. 35 year old Lenine. Or should yeah, I, I buy the cow drops? Yes. Dude, I can't afford this. Well, I bought, <laughs> the, I bought the cow drops. Oh. Yeah, yeah. They're like five copper, man. Yeah, I know. It fucking set me back. And now my inventory is full of all kinds of different broken up currency and it pisses me the hell off. Look, I'm looking at this store, and I think we should just buy weird shit and try and just what, now get funky carry, with it. Well, now like, a bunch more crap? Yeah, just get funky, like, perfume. Yeah, let's get crazy. We should buy some, like, bags of sand. <laughs> let's just yeah, get stupid, yeah. dude. <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. <laughs> <laughs> I, I see Ooh. they're selling bear traps and stuff, or hunting traps. Maybe we should get some of those again. We yeah, could also those are good. buy locks for doors. Oh, yeah, yeah we can buy iron Ooh. spikes to uh, block doors. Yeah. And those are pretty cheap. I'll Thank buy you. the hunting trap and also give it to Turk and I'll buy these. Actually, how many hunting traps are there? How many can Turk carry? I know that you don't get encumbered anymore, but what's your actual carry weight? 240. I'm at 210 right now. I've got to get rid of the armor. Okay, then probably not right. grab more than one hunting trap. No, I should have room. I okay, I'll, get, I'll get one more. There, there was three more in stock after the first one. I'll get one more. Understood. Uh, and then, I mean, do we want to grab some, uh, like, door blocking spikes? Yeah, I still think that's a really good idea. Iron spikes are pretty cheap. Uh, those seem like the kind of thing we reuse, so I'm just going to get, like, two of them. Don't think I think there's golden of packs of ten. Full bearings are good. Uh, acid is good. Expensive. Oh, yeah, very they are sold in bundles of 10. Jesus. Well, all that goes to... I mean, actually, I can hold the iron spikes. Okay. And then let me know when you're done with Barthens, and I will open up uh, the Lion Shield coaster. I'm going to buy some perfume. Okay. I don't know why, but it might come in use. Okay. Is that perfume? Oh, my. Oh, my. How much perfume can someone drink before they die? Huh? <laughs> Dude, buy the acid if you're going to ask that. Come on. Let's, <laughs> let's just cut out the fucking middleman. Why are we testing yeah, it? Yeah, but what's it? Uh, four bottles I of perfume? I know one of those kills you if you drink enough. <laughs> How much perfume can you drink? Yeah, four uh, bottles of perfume is going to kill you, surely. And that's cheap. Uh, and then if of swallowed acid. in amounts greater than 30 milliliters. Yo, that's a lot. That's so little. Really? <laughs> yeah, that's what perfume. Google says. That's not much at all. I'm telling you right now, we could we could we could poison up with perfume. <laughs> well, I think they'd be able to tell when they drink it, but it's a little tart. What's uh, oh, like those things thinking, where you have I'm to just, make something like I'm just a creature thinking. in D and D eat something to die? It's like you know what is a lot faster? Just stabbing them most of the time <laughs> is like the problem. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Are you yeah, done I'm with done here? Yep, yeah, I'm done. All right, let's do. Uh, next up is the Lion Shield coaster. Okay. 
We still um, got that. We still got that plate armor for sale. Whoa. Oh my God. How about they put it on sale? Like for more, uh, you know, savings. It is on sale. I sold my chain mail. I think it worked. Yep. I offered and then you have to accept. Oh, yes. All right. 37 gold pieces. Awesome. Could we, uh, we put all of our money down. Could we get plate armor for Turg? I have 284. <laughs> I have. Uh, I got 530. Yeah, I have just shy of 500. I don't I think have... so. We could. <laughs> if we put all of our money together, it See, would what, literally like, what, drain the yeah, company. Yeah, but then what makes me, you know what? Like I'm thinking though, when I think about using all of our money to get Turk one AC, one AC, right? Mm -hmm. That's your death flag. You're gonna get fucking Ooh, critted next time and instantly shit. fucking die, and none of this matters. <laughs> it's he also a case of like, like healing potions feel a lot better, and those also cost quite a bit. If I die, I you lose everything. You guys yeah, have put like way too much in my pockets. Mm -hmm. Very fair. Very true. And the resale I, do, I rate appreciate is fucking the terrible. <laughs> yeah. Look, let's just hope that we walk by some schmuck that's wearing full plate, and we'll just kill them because we know they're walking around. They're walking around like fifteen hundred gold body. True. So we'll just kill them. Mm hmm. Why don't people do that more often in this fucking world? Murder each other. The they they, <laughs> murder, they do. Murder fucking people for their plate armor. They're walking around. It's like walking around with like a bunch of money just all over you i think they i think they do do that actually <laughs> well usually we people that play on are gonna kill lead. the people that will see it <laughs> i steal it um yeah no we don't need it we don't need look, i'm not gonna get hit dude 20 ac all right fine <laughs> I love i'm always doesn't have 20s that get you dude i love these flags that he's doing for himself how I can will, i die i will dude. never die <laughs> You'd crit I'm me safe. as Alward, and I'd fucking, I'd, I'd start sweating. <laughs> 20, 32 AC, crit it anyways, put to zero, <laughs> sweating bad. We also have a bunch of gems in our, uh, oh yeah, in our we storage. Do. Oh yeah? Get rid of those. I don't think there are any more health potions we can buy, right? Like she's not ready to sell more. Correct. Uh, in fact, it's going to be another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, eight days uh, before. Oh. Yeah. Before another uh, health potion is available. Understood. Jesus. Well, I'm good. I don't think yeah, this town has anything else it can offer us. <laughs> yeah, you got a bunch of gemstones and party storage, too. Well, I think we're uh, ready to go really, really go just exterminate some goblins. Understood. Yeah. Let's uh, let's let's get you there, shall we? Nice. Ah. All right. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Now loading. Dude, my clock just went back and it threw me off. I was like, we started 20 minutes ago. <laughs> That's right. Uh, our, and our <laughs> clocks are gonna go back next uh, next week. Oh God! Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. Uh, I thought they were supposed to get rid of that. I thought so too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, it's gonna take time. Government works slow or some shit. I don't fucking know. All right. Boop, 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 doo. You shall travel on to the castle. I'm going to make a roll. How many more days till Cryovane kills us? Ooh, good question. We'll see. I can't believe Barry took my space in the in the four man group. Yeah, back off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Let's see if something happens on the Gotta road so we need the xp <laughs> yeah. like running around in tall grass and pokemon right now <laughs> <laughs> all right let me go ahead and do uh do a little roll here 
Uh, no. You do not encounter anything. For, uh, we travel back to Fandolin to try this and is trigger the, this another is one. This the day. <laughs> <laughs> if we walk along the Tripor Trail enough, <laughs> we will level. I I appreciate your determination. <laughs> All right. Now that I did that. So uh, you guys now know there are two entrances to the castle. Uh, will you be going in through the front door or going in through the secret entrance that you all had found before? Secret entrance makes more sense. Yeah. Oh, Edoki, then. Is there any, like, while we're, like, walking by the yeah. main entrance, though, is there any, like, very obvious, like, all the goblins bugged out because <laughs> they found all the dead bodies in their Would you uh, would you like to do or do you want to take a like a do you want to like stop by the front entrance and see if it's still being guarded like you found before? Ooh, have Barry go look. Yeah, I guess that'd be worth. Yeah, kind of want to look, you know. And at least we'll know if like how high alert these goblins are gonna be. Mm -hmm. They gotta Some of them know. Are just scattered. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What if uh, they never found out? Okay, so one moment, please. Do, 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 do. Um, so if you were to do the same scouting that you did before, uh, you will see that the goblins uh, are still just as active as they were the first time that you were there, <laughs> guarding the keep in the castle, okay. the, the mess hall, doing some work. Um, but now, uh, you're hearing m mutters of, uh, the hobgoblins wanting some of the food. Uh, apparently they have sort of taken over the keep a little bit <laughs> before, uh, uh, in place of their king. Uh, but it definitely seems to be very disordered, uh, much like it was in Cragmaw, uh, cave. Oh, I thought it was gonna be like a death of Stalin moment. Like, yeah. They, yeah. they didn't go in because they were like, yeah, I don't want to go talk to the bugbear. He'll beat the shit out of me. So they just <laughs> leave his body in there for three days? No, there, there's definitely talks of, like, you know, the hobgoblins have taken over. They're not. No one's really certain as to what has happened in the keep yet. Okay. Um, but uh, everything still is as guarded as it was uh, the last time that you were here. So, would you? Are you still going through the back entryway, or are you char are you charging through the front? Uh, I think back way is still better. Yeah. All yeah. right. Let's go ahead and do that then. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Loading Cragmaw Castle. Is that loading? Yep. Let me get the when map. We, when we arrive, I'm gonna armor. Damn right you are. Mm -hmm. Trying to get faster with screen transitions. That's a lie. There we go. Okay, you guys will arrive over there. Uh, 10 temporary hit points. Oh, you've already got it. Beautiful. Okay, so. What are you all doing? The stage is set. It's time march through I think that's trying to find the back entrance right oh yeah you're, you're in the back there's entrance oh down there no I mean like the actual like literal door I'm getting my character's getting collided you're in a tree my man <laughs> you climbed in so fast into it oh 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 did I put you in like a tree that's funny oh, huh. yeah you placed me in the top of a tree awesome <laughs> hold on one second uh no no movement no one moves okay there we go uh -huh. Uh -huh. Something, something definitely broke. <laughs> give, give me a second. Oh my God. Are, is combat still going on? What's happening? All right. Uh, okay. Can you see now, Turk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good now. All right, cool. Awesome. Yeah, go ahead. I was just trapped in a tree. Yeah, I, uh, I have very, a hard time moving you guys now because I have like, there's, there's like on my screen, like there's multiples of you and I can't move you now. So, uh, okay. Nice. Nice. Uh, give, oh. me one, give me one second. I'm going to refresh. All right, everybody. Yeah. So sorry. It's okay, man. I know you guys want to do it. Just don't ever do it again. <laughs> hey, I can't promise that. Trees of elves. 
Put me in rock. Yeah. No clip me into a wall, please. <laughs> Happily die. I said it once and I'll say it again. Uh, I know stone. All right, let me close this. Close this, close this, close this. All right, good, awesome. Okay, I shall boop, unpause and yeah, you guys are good to go. Okay, no one go there, huh? Uh, maybe we should take some time to investigate, since they know somebody came from this direction. Uh, I want to make an investigation check on this door, see if there's if it's trapped. Okay, yeah, feel free to do it. Uh, let's see here. Oh, one second. I need to pop this window out so chat can see the rolls. Okay. Doki. Uh, so yeah, as you investigate the door, uh, you don't see anything out of the ordinary. It's just an old wooden door. Huh. All right. Are we? Yeah, do we, we right. going louder? <laughs> yeah, I feel like, I mean, we can try and be sneaky about it. I think that'll last for all of five seconds because uh, Turg <laughs> is worried. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Sylvester yeah, is going high. to. Oh, yeah? You're going to roll high? I'll roll yeah, now. You know what? I'll go stealthy. I'm going to go stealthy. All right. Uh, let's I'm try to stealthy. My... Check this out. All right. Let's see how that goes. Okay. That's really oh, good, sweetie. Fine. All right. Yeah. So, great job, he, sweetheart. He Nicely he done. Fucking... <laughs> he really fucking was the loudest guy ever. Ow. Oh, shit. <laughs> ah, once again, That's Tommy. Than he seems. Tommy uh, stubs his toe. <laughs> yeah, you like tripped over a box. All right. Uh, yeah. client. All right. What are you guys um, doing? I'm gonna open the door with my boot. If you <laughs> open the door with this boot, I'm gonna. <laughs> All right, he already opened it. I was going to say I'm going to prepare if anything turns the corner to blast it. Yeah, I'm going to prepare a true strike on the first um, enemy I see. All right. I'm just going to yeah. keep my shield up. I'll hold, uh, I guess I'll, just because it's a cantrip, I'm not going to hold any spells, but I'll hold, uh, I'll hold a chill touch. <clears throat> okay. I'm uh, just going to, wait, what? The fuck? Maybe this doesn't exist. That's a lie. Uh, all right, one second. Okay. Oh, uh, what about light all down? Uh, um, left. That's yeah. All right, that's good enough. I mean, that is technically left. That is actually his left. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll open this door. Uh, look, if they're not going to trap the outside door, they're not going to trap this one. A stone brazier full of coals in the middle of this small barracks. Uh, four, ah! four straw pallets are lined up along the east wall. The wall to the south has collapsed, but a barred wooden door in that direction is still clear. A curtain hangs in the archway to the north. Step on their pillows. What? Okay, so we got down south. Hmm? Oh, I feel like we there. should go north, right? Because we know we've cl cleared like north, north. So whatever's north of here is going to be isolated. Yeah. Sure. Let's take a look. Unless but you I guys moved in. <laughs> Want to check out that True. that barred door? Uh, up uh, to you. Is the oh, bar door the one in the I... south? Yeah. Yeah, we can pop back in for sure. Yeah. I'm not killing that but dog all pop. Uh, it makes a loud curtain noise as you open Oh, it. it's here. <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, okay. Should we, like, check inside the room to see if anyone else moved in in there? That's what I'm I thinking. Know. I'm thinking... Yeah, let's take a look. New guy moved in. I'm guys. the king, he says. Uh, ah. Oh, oh my god! Uh, <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> 
Prepare to die. <laughs> All right. Uh, you <laughs> caught the four hobgoblins uh, who were arguing amongst themselves of who was going to rule the Kragmaws. Uh, they seemed to be having a little little meeting, uh, and you just opened the door. Uh, and because you mentioned you had, were preparing actions. Yeah, true strike goes off on this one. Yeah, uh, in, uh, instead of the prepared actions, uh, we will be doing a surprise round. Oh, even better. Right. Man, you just can't live in this office. Dude, hor this can't be in here. <laughs> horrible place to call your home. <laughs> okay, let's begin. Oh, Michael, uh, I need to remove them from the initiative. He's dead. Uh, his corpse is somewhere around here. I don't know where. Oh, it's here. Hold on. Pity. <gasps> Who do I Encounters over. Yeah, hold on. I need to. <laughs> I need to. Re I need to re-roll. Sorry. Okay, there we go. Okay. Uh, I can't delete his uh, his corpse in the middle of combat, but that's okay. Door open. All right, let's begin. Uh, we start with Turd. Uh, it's, a, it's considered a surprise round. Uh, just so you guys know, uh, there's been a couple of times I've been doing surprise rounds incorrect. Uh, you still uh, attack normally, no advantage or anything like that. Understood. All right, Turd. I'm gonna go in. And I'm going to stab this guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, 16 misses. Uh, you'll watch as the hob goblin he just, like, deflects. Uh, he deflects the blow. All right. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do the action search. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Do it that, hobgoblin. How do you murder this hobgoblin? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> uh, uh, like... I clink him off the, he like deflects the first one, makes a sound, I go, and just stab him right through the mouth. Oh, oh. Not my face. Oh, not my face. I'm not like that. I'm not like that. Uh, and then, uh, can you guys see? I can see the one the right room. here. I Should I block the door? Yeah, I mean. I'll, I'll just what? go here. I'll block the door here. I'll hold my stance and I go, come on now. I'll have a door. Uh, do I have anything in my bonus action that is good to do? I don't think so. I think, I think this this is me. This is me about to get my ass beat. Tur uh, not Turg, uh, Gabriel. All right. Um, we step up. Ooh, I see some lads. Um, we're immediately going to burn two sorcery points to quicken spell. Uh, I'm going to quicken spell Scorching Ray. Okay. Uh, first shot is going to be against this guy. Okay. Uh, that hits for a wonderful yeah. two points of damage. All right. Shoot him again. Uh, make sure to check off uh, consume spell slot. There we go. Uh, that hits. Uh, oh. How do you dispatch of this hobgoblin? Yeah. The uh, As he projects the bow and knocks three arrows, two of them <laughs> hit his chest, hit his head, and incinerates. And then the third dart flies towards the, the other guy I can see. Okay. All right. Uh, I, which one? Uh, this one. Uh, miss. Uh, you'll, okay. you'll, you'll see him hold up his shield and it just, it just kind of deflects off of that. All right. Then my main action is going to uh, sort of through the bow as the bow vanishes from his hand, uh, this sort of draconic claw form. I'm going to cast Chill Touch on him. Okay. Ooh, very good. Uh, eight Damn. points of damage. Uh, yeah, and this hobgoblin is free from his chest. Uh, this hobgoblin is bloodied. All right. Uh, and I'm going to use the rest of my movement to sort of step back. That's my turn. All right. Uh, Sylvester. Sylvester's going to use his action to prepare uh, Barry to attack. Okay. And Barry's going to fly in uh, awkwardly over the body of Michael. Mm hmm. That's oh, still invisible. there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fly up behind this one and sting him from behind. All right. So, 23. <laughs> uh, that will <laughs> hit. Uh, how do you dispatch of this uh, this obgoblin? He's, he's got to make the con save to take the full. Uh, oh, you are poison. correct. Uh, even if he fails, it will be enough to kill him. So, uh, how do you oh dispatch a bit? Jeez. Yeah, like a dog just ate a oh, bee whoops. right to his neck. <laughs> it's all swollen up. <laughs> okay. Uh, I also learned it is an action for Barry to go invisible, so he has to dedicate an action to do so. I see. 
just so you are aware. All right, Tommy. Uh, let's see. Tommy can move. There we go. All right, he's going to stick out his tongue, and he's going to raise his crossbow and fire a shot at this last remaining. All right, island. let's see it. Oh, uh, oh, bud. <laughs> uh, that misses. Uh, holds up the shield again. He's just keeping his shield up. Oh, we 18 shucks. AC then. Yeah, 18 AC, it looks like. Okay. And now uh, the round begins. Turk. <laughs> yeah, how's this guy oh. doing? <laughs> Walk up to him. It's not uh, good. <laughs> I get on this side of him. Uh, I'm go. I guess that makes you the leader now. Good bite. And then stab him. <laughs> Miss. Oh, no. He's holding. Oh, no. He's holding strong. <laughs> Clink. Uh, I wouldn't be holding strong. I'd be crying yeah. if Did I were him. <laughs> His three, three friends died in six I'd be seconds. pissing myself and crying, and begging for my fucking he's, life. He's uh, no, I mean, he's desperately holding this. You guys are like pelting all these spells, and all he can do is just hold the shield as if he's like, this is the last lifeline he's got to, to somehow <laughs> survive this encounter. Oh. Uh, we're gonna form that skeletal draconic claw again. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you dispatch of the hobgoblin? <laughs> As he's holding off Turg, the claw wrenches through his back, grips his heart, and freezes it. <laughs> and then he'll just yeah, he'll just uh, fall. They have hey. shields, right? They don't. They're not wearing plate armor. Uh, correct. They have chainmail and shields on them. Okay. I guess search their bodies, see if they've got any extra loots. Uh, sure. You spend some time looking around. Uh, all of them are equipped with long swords, long bows, chain mail, and shields. Okay, okay. I don't think we need any of that. Um, like an animal or like a pigeon with a clicker, Tommy's going to go to the place where the map was hidden to see if there's a new tasty treat hidden there. <laughs> <laughs> they put their second map there. <laughs> uh, as you look inside here, it seems they've dragged all of the corpses that were once here uh, into the side room. I The fact that they did all of that and were like, let's not put a guard out front is just some of like the saddest shit I ever saw. <laughs> They're a little disorganized. It, don't know what's it going has on. been only a day. <laughs> <laughs> We have destroyed their infrastructure, came back, they were attempting to rebuild, destroyed the infrastructure again. <laughs> I'm gonna think this place is cursed. Okay, can I move on to the next one? Mm -hmm. Alright. Right. Dust off my hands. Okay. Next. <laughs> I, prepare, I prepare the same thing. I'm if, so uh, excited. We open the door and there's someone there, I'm fucking shooting their head off. I understand. Yeah. And I'm gonna make Michael or Barry invisible again. God, oh, okay. this is gonna be hard to get used to. They didn't have any, uh, any like pockets on them, nothing like that. Nope. All right, right. understood. Oh. Uh, oh. No, I'm pausing because ah. I see people running really fast, so I'm just trying to make sure. <laughs> oh yeah, we're cruising. I was just gonna wait down here. Let me go. <laughs> Sprinting into the next room, we're dashing. Okay. Okay. Next one. Oh, there's another. What a weird door. All right. So this is the barred one. Correct. Does it look to be open? Like, is, in, is there like a heavy lock on it or anything like that? Uh, one moment, please. Uh, a barred wooden door uh, in the direction. Uh, so it's 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 barred. So you would have to lift off the bar. Oh, the bar's on this side. Okay. Oh. okay yeah. Yeah. And lift it off. Like there's something in there. Yeah. It's barred on our side, which means they're keeping something from getting in. Or something from getting out. Open bar. Ready to stab whatever's inside. Oh. A floating brain with a giant ah! beak immediately ah! Ah! lashes its tentacles out at you. So since, oh yeah, we're shooting that. So since everyone <laughs> had prepared an action, including the creature on the other side, uh, we're what just gonna do a normal fucking round. So okay. here we go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You got quiet people. So here we go. Ooh, it rolled especially low. Why do I keep rolling for Michael? He's dead. <laughs> Get him out of here. <laughs> Move <laughs> the fuck on. 
All right. Uh, oh, it looks to me like you're rolling for Barry. Yeah, I see Barry. Oh, that's because I just removed the corpse of Michael uh, from the initiative ah. counter. Oh, all right, all right. All right, let's begin. Turn. Ooh, is that is that art that like Bird drew or one of the other artists? No, drew? this is the default oh, <laughs> art for yeah. this creature. This is oh, fuck. Oh, like, this is Bog. Hold my shield up. This is Bog standard monster manual growl. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> yeah. I go I around its back. Oh, the hell yeah! Hey, quit throwing at me! I'm gonna stab it in the face. Uh, 14 Whoa. points of damage. <laughs> Man. Oh, and I'm gonna shit. roll. I'm gonna roll my menacing attack. Oh. As it just screams out. It takes another six points of damage. Has to make a wisdom saving throw. All right. Uh, checking real quick. Excellent. Here we go. Casually uh, chunking it for 20 points of damage. Uh, here's the funny part. Uh, it is not bloodied. Hey, it's okay, hey, what? <laughs> Let's roll out wisdoms. Check again. Uh, he's good. He's good. Okay. Oh, I'm going to wish it was bloodied. Behind him. Or he's going to casually fly up while invisible into melee range for no particular reason. No, no particular gonna, reason. End his turn, and then I'm going to use my action to have Barry fucking sting this thing while he's invisible. Super advantage. 20. All right. Uh, still good. Uh, it's going to go ahead and take 10 points of damage. Now it's bloodied. Okay, so we've done 30 points of damage. It's bloody. It's probably going to have at least 50, maybe 60. Okay. Sylvester's going to move, like, uh, around the corner here to, like, what would be cover with the wall from this thing. Okay. And uh, let's see. Oh, seeing this thing, this gross thing that I've uh, never heard of before as I don't think Gabriel or Veldrin ever heard of this thing. Mm -hmm. um, so just to be sure, because it looks scary, we're just going to magic missile it. Uh, actually, you've heard about this thing from the hobgoblins who were speaking about a creature right. Oh, uh, that's right. that was being mm -hmm. fed goblins. Oh, that's right. No wonder they kept this thing locked away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just going to magic missile it at first level. All right, let's go. Okay, uh, that's going to be 12 points of damage. And sort of like, there's this very wide grimace on uh, on Gabriel's face, looking absolutely disgusted at this free-floating brain. He'll, uh, he'll take a step back. Oh, that's kind of rude. Uh, Thomas. Thomas will also be casting Magic Missile at the first level. Let's see it. Uh, another 12 <laughs> points of damage. <laughs> You're like you just watch the flurry of magic missiles blasts away. The creature still is there hovering. Yeah. And it just kind of looks around a bit, kind of looks over, sees a little tasty treat over here. So here <laughs> oh, we no. go. No, not again. What uh, will I do? Uh, <laughs> tries to attack with the tentacle uh, that will hit and it needs to make a con, uh, con saving throw, please. Okay. Uh, by the way, my, uh, Barry has a uh, resistance to anything that isn't magical damage. Understood. So. Uh, con save? Yes, please. With Barry selected. Okay. Uh, you're good. All right. Uh, one more second, please. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's devastating. Uh, and it doesn't matter what happens because the tentacles, since it uh, makes contact with, uh, with Barry for two points of damage, uh, will wrap around, pulling Barry in. Uh, no, not Barry. Oh. So, so, oh god, uh, just grabs him. Yep, grappled. Um, oh shit, Barry, no. Uh, medium or smaller, which it is. Uh, it is now restrained as the tentacles wrap around, oh. and then opens wide with the beak. Uh, that'll hit, but only deals two points of damage. That could have been Kurg. Turg. Yeah, both those would have been Turg. <laughs> do I? Yeah, that's true. Do I still get um, yep. flanking if he's great? Okay, well then. Oh, wait. Uh, uh, no. Wow. No, no, he, no, you don't. Because he's restrained? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, it's uh, a giant brain. Aim for its brain. <laughs> you should be <laughs> <the> advantage. <laughs> Shut up. I'm going to stab the beak. <laughs> How do you dispatch of this creature? I stab it through the beak. I go through <laughs> the strongest portion of it. <laughs> <laughs> and I flick it around. I, I, it really, it really it dies because I get my sword stuck in its beak. I just hit it against the ground over and over to try and get it off. 
<laughs> Nicely done. End of encounter. Okay. okay. Dust hands off. That's from... Uh, the upper floors of this tower has... <laughs> wait, wait. Uh, wait, the, wait. the upper floors of this tower have collapsed to create a hollow silo 30 feet high. The upper reaches of the room are lost in shadows. It's clear that this area hasn't been used for quite some time. Dust, rubble, and broken glass cover the floor, and old work tables and books, uh, bookshelves clutter the southern half of the room. Hmm. I, uh, I see a sword and a shield. Is that, uh, what's that? Oh, uh, good point. You're free to make a perception check. I will help Turg make a perception check. Understood. Uh, Turg, go and roll <laughs> perception. Like, oh, I should black this. for uh, too bad for Tommy. What? Is this uh, like pitch black darkness in here? Oh yeah, that's no, right. It's... Tommy, you don't have dark vision. I turned on dark vision because you had it at one point in time. Now you don't. So I'm just gonna real. Let's quick. just assume that I use dark vision. At All the beginning. right. Sounds good. So you're, is that your going to be your ritual from now on? Uh, n no, I would still like to say if I cast Dark Vision, because it does take a level two spell slot. Uh, yeah, of course. So it's not a ritual spell. Feels yeah. like it should be. No, he means ritual more like metaphorically. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Like, yeah, I meant metaphorically. Sorry about that. Ah, uh, we're talking with metaphors now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Metaphorically loot. What can I say? I'm a romantic. Uh, ten. <laughs> Uh, you're just kind of kicking stools around. You go over to the weapons and armor that are there, and they just are rusted and old. This place has been abandoned for a while now. Uh, however, Tommy, yeah, observant Tommy, mm -hmm. sees it. Uh, there is, I see it. there is, do, 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 do. where is it? There is a, uh, on the second floor of the tower, you see, uh, on a jagged ledge, a battered wooden chest. Oh, he squints up at it. Can, can any of us get up there? Barry, get that. <laughs> Barry flies up. <laughs> uh, no longer grappled because the creature is no more, uh, and just sort of <laughs> opens the chest. Looks inside, turns around, shrugs. What do you like? What do you want me to do? Get it! <laughs> Get Push it, it down. Push Get it. It. Take it out. Uh, Push it. Starts pushing at the chest, but his strength is so meager that it doesn't budge. Is does Take it weigh the more things than out 10 of the pounds. chest and then bring them down individually? <sighs> Michael does the chest weigh more like than this. ten pounds? Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna... <laughs> You go, you go. Uh, I'll have Mage Hand assist Barry. Uh, Basically, Barry. just hand him things that weigh less than 10 pounds, and then he'll float it down. All right. Excellent. Uh, so he begins. <laughs> this takes a while. Uh, one at a time, he hands uh, all the coinage that is in there oh, over God. to you guys. Uh, 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 yes. Let's see. Uh, so, uh, after a little bit of time and trying to get between Mage Hand and the uh, and the Imp trying to move things, you will find the following. Uh, I need to know what inventory to put this in. Uh, you will find 90 Electrum pieces. Who would like? I see Turg. Okay. Uh, so, we do in Turg is going to. Someone has pinged me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He can have it. Yeah, yeah this guy. Uh, dumpster. All Come right. On, take it. Uh, 90 Electrum. 120 gold pieces. Uh, you find a potion of healing. So that's now four potions of healing for Turg. And two scrolls. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Waves the scrolls over towards Tommy. Yeah. Oh, Tommy's yeah, gonna... yeah. All right. Let me take a look at these. Well, partly then, eh? Uh, if you take a short rest, you'll be able to identify them. Oh, right. Short rest is worth it for me as well. I got action surge back. Yeah, yeah probably. Uh, oh, yeah. Probably sure. clear, short like, rest in this room. I, I could take a short rest. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not like these goblins will do anything but send more hobgoblins into that last room for us you, to kill. Uh, I was about to say, yeah, let's, uh, we're cleaning up. Wait, no, wait, wait. I'm going to open this door again. I feel like we should short rest in the next room because they could just come and bar this door. <laughs> That is very oh, true. Yeah, <laughs> way 
Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, we're gonna close off the doors here. Smart. Uh, all right. Uh, you guys are free to do a short rest now. Feel free to regenerate any hit points you need, spend any hit die, uh, go in your character sheets and press your short rest button. An hour passes. You will identify the two scrolls and they're a fucking doozy. Uh, oh. You get a scroll of silence. Okay. And Ooh. a scroll, which unfortunately Tommy is unable to use, of Revivify. Oh. oh. That's huge. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. You know, if you know anyone that can cast divine spells, that might be useful. Mm. Cool. We don't. <laughs> can we? Uh, can we attempt to use the scroll? I believe you have to have it in your spell list to successfully use the scroll. Understood. Like it has to be a part of not, mm. you don't have to know the spell, but I believe you have to be able to at some point in your career cast the spell. Let me actually look this up real quick because my brain be soft. It does sound correct. Yeah, it sounds correct to me as well. If the spell is on your class's spell list, but of a higher level than you can normally cast, you must make an ability check. That's what Tommy did with the fireball before it went up in flames. Uh -huh. Using the spell cast ability to determine the, if the spell the scrolls successfully. The DC equals 10 plus the spell's level. On a failed check, the spell disappears with no other effect. And that's it. That's the only exception it gives. Okay, so we don't have, that's, we basically sell that is what that is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, unless we like yeah, enlist much. a cleric to wait outside a dungeon for us. You do yeah, have, you do we have, know a cleric. and I say you do know of uh, Sister Galel. That's over in uh, fa uh, at Vandalin. Yeah, it's true. Or, you know. Yeah, it's just now. like it's a minute, so it's like we actually need the cleric with us. That's yeah. true. Well, we need yeah. somebody to cast. One of us dies. Cleric. That's true. <laughs> Make a cleric. Yep. That is true. I don't think we can determine that anymore. I think it's all random now, right? Oh, yeah, it is all random now. Yeah. What, what, wait, what's all random now? What, the cl classes when are random? Oh, wait, no, the class isn't random, is it? No. I don't know. Well, no. yeah, but it's like if you get, like, shit wisdom or shit charisma for, like, power. Yeah, cleric, you, you, you wouldn't want to be a cleric. <laughs> well, hold on, because uh, Revivify doesn't take your wisdom modifier. And it's like, you could just be the, the cleric that just stands there ready <laughs> to do that. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. If, if, yeah, you can just have a dumpster character that's trash. Yeah. <laughs> no scaling. Uh, yeah. Just, uh, that would be so fucked. You'd also have to be level five. Otherwise, you still have to make that spell check. <laughs> true. With the wisdom modifier. We're going to go back in the other room. There's four more hobgoblins <laughs> in there. To <laughs> the, the uh, uh, so, yeah. Scratching si their head. Silence, however, is a wizard spell. So, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. No. No, it's not. No. What? Wait, no. Silence what? is not a wizard spell. Silence? It's a bard, cleric, or ranger spell. Yeah. No, oh yeah. Right? It's one of the weirdest yeah. things in D and D that Bro, silence isn't crazy. a wizard spell. God damn. Never mind. Oh, really insane. Yeah. Well, uh, that's enjoy, all right. Enjoy that uh, whole that's bunch of nothing. Baby. Yeah, we can just <laughs> use that as like fucking napkins, paper. I guess. Yeah. This is trash. To we me. go to Neverwinter. We sell them. That's basically all we can do. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. It's it's just uh, it's trade. It's currency now. So yeah. All right. Oh well. Sweet. Not a Onward. wizard oh. spell. Yeah. yeah. Not a wizard spell. I assumed it was. Yeah. Man, no yummy treats for Tommy today. No, not, not yet, at least. He's starting to shrivel up. I mean, I, I genuinely don't know what's in this dungeon. <laughs> it's been so long since I've set it up. I'm on the Dude, adventure when, with you guys. When the warlock gonna get some treats? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, guys, blame the module. Okay, when my hands are tied. the old man gonna get something? <laughs> hey, oh, no, uh, uh, I don't know how you feel, man. Points magic sword at door and opens Dude. it with this ring. <laughs> I can barely hear you over the sound of your magic shoes like just clacking, <laughs> clacking against the ground, dude. All right. Prep sword up. Open door. All right. I get ready to blast again. Okay. What's new? <gasps> what the fuck? What? What? Why did you just gasp? Why'd you gasp like that? Yeah, that was me holding my breath. Ready? That was anticipation, problem. man. It was, okay. it was scary, oh okay? God. It scared That's, us. Okay, you know what? <sighs> I breathe out and I go in. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Time. Thanks for correcting that. All right, Sorry. here we go. <laughs> Uh, as you go in, uh, you immediately hear it as you're walking down this doorway. Just loud, rambunctious sounds coming from here. I'm a bunch of sounds coming now. 
which might be the big one. Do we want to go that way first? I mean, uh, it's... Ooh, ooh, no, I think we should check the side door first. At some point, we gotta go that way, but yeah. Yeah, but I think we should check the small doors. stuff, yeah. Uh, all, right. all right, as you check the door, uh, it is locked from this side. Oh. Okay. Oh, means we could unlock it. Yes, Locked that is it. correct. <laughs> is what that means. Oh, wait, oh, so. wait yeah, from this side. <laughs> yeah, I unlocked it. What the hell? <laughs> you unlock the door. Uh, point sword up. Go in. Oh. Congratulations. Hell, you're, congratulations. You're back outside. Oh, is God that? damn it. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, it's another entrance. Looks like this is the big one. I'm going to throw the key into like a bush. There's no key. <laughs> oh, it's just like a little lock dude. thing. Oh, okay, 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 okay. You think they left oh. the key in the door? Hey, man, it happens, Actually, right? Actually, I'll leave okay. it open just so we have a way out. Okay. All right, sword All right, up. Ready. All right, I'm going to ready oh, true strike there. against oh. the first enemy I see. All right, so we got uh, we got Tommy readying true strike. Anyone else? Yep. I will ready a chill touch. Okie dokie. Already a javelin throw at the first thing I see. Okie dokie. Oh, uh, because we short rested, um, before, when the short rest ended, I would have reapplied armor vagabonds. Okay. So I'll just take that spell slot. Okie dokie. How long does armor agatha? Oh, it's an hour? An hour. Yeah. Okay. Are you preparing anything? Uh, yeah, Eldritch Blast. Okie, all right. Uh, yeah, I've unpaused. The stage is yours. Oh. And bada bing, bada boom, goblin All June. right, here we go. Uh, you oh, see a cantankerous yeah. <laughs> fat goblin over here who's like, what up, what up? But he's like saying that in like goblin. And then as the door opens, everyone kind of turns her over to you. Uh, oh, all, all right, let me uh, roll initiative and then we'll do everyone's prepared actions. Uh, let me go ahead and woo. I That's keep a lot of rocks. There are so many goblins. <laughs> yeah, but they're all goblins. Remember, like, remember when goblins... <laughs> they die in, like, they they die to a gust of now. wind now. All right. Remember when goblins were scary? Yeah. At level one. <laughs> I remember. Dude, I feel bad for this goblin. He's just got the fish head. <laughs> They've got the entire back. Uh, One second. I need to... Oh, yeah, we could. Actually, before we get in the comic, could we take a quick break? Yes, let's uh, take a small break, everyone. We'll be Perfect. right back. Thank you very All much. Right. All right, we're back. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, uh, and the encounter has begun. Let's get the battle music going. I unpause. All right, so first we're going to go ahead and do everyone's prepared actions. I'll start with Turg. Turg, what are you doing? Uh, should we see the turn order at this point? Or just, just in, uh... You should be able to see the turn order. Right? Oh, I haven't begun combat yet. Here you go. What? Uh, oh, dude's name is Yeg. Yeg. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Look at this gonna... fucking guy. Uh, this, 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 this was done. This was done by Bird. Uh, Yeg was uh, is a Bird token. <laughs> oh <beautiful> fuck! <laughs> yeah. that, that is a Yeg right there. All right, so here's the interesting thing about this, right? We made this token before Fandelver and Below came out, and then when we uh when uh fan delver below came out they gave yeg art and it kind of looks like this the, the the art that we did no way yeah hold on i, ha I have to show you just a little yeah, bit show, show, show. yeah yeah just a just a just a little bit though okay, I mean, it, uh, look i could throw the javelin at yeg but i kind of want to see what yeg does you know same. So, i'm gonna just i might hit this guy with you know, <laughs> i want to see yeg's yeg's, uh, yeg's life <laughs> All right, let me uh, copy image. I'm going to paste this over in uh, our channel. Nope. Uh, give me one second. Sorry. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I love that that's the day that... He looked at the yolk and an egg and yeah. named himself after it. <laughs> mm, yeah. Bro, I'm giggling and kicking my feet. <laughs> I, I posted the picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. And this what? is the, this is the that's... version they went with for Yag. And I was like, we were kind of close. Yeah. <laughs> we were kind of close. close. <laughs> you know what? You you beat them out because you gave them a hat. Yeah. You know. And as we should. You gave them a line chef hat. As we should. 
All right. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah go for it. <laughs> Anyways, time to murder friends. Uh, uh, let me see the actual what you rolled. 18. <laughs> Bat! He points out, and then the javelin literally goes through this guy. <laughs> and it just falls down dead. Javelin oh, stuck up in the air. Oh, uh, you don't move. You don't move. Uh, oh, we didn't move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're, you, all you guys are doing is your, your prepared actions. Prepared. Uh, Sylvester, oh, what are you doing? I'm going to try to kill his other friend. All right. Uh, once again, uh, you, this, this the blast. It just <laughs> the body falls back, slams against the table. Holy shit, Tommy! Uh, my prepared action actually doesn't go off because I can't see anything right now. Epic! And then, yeah. uh, and then Gabriel. Same thing. Okay, the battle begins. Uh, and yeah, kind of looks around and says to Goblin, "All right, boys, dinner time!" And he slams against his, this frying pan. He goes. Ding, 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 and this is where uh, I do his hardcore action that I have added for the game to make it interesting. Smiley face. Amazing. Uh, yeah, all enemy creatures gain two temporary hit points. So let's go ahead and do that. Cool. Yeah. There we go. So, uh, and that actually doesn't take an action. That's just literally at the beginning of the, the combat. Uh, everyone just gets two temporary hit points. All right. Uh, and now it's Yeg's turn. And he looks over, he'll say over at Goblin, Hey, you're not invited here! And uh, he just kind of starts walking over. Oh my he's, god, he's lunging. Yeah, he's, uh, he leaps over, he's like holding on to this frying pan, he's ready to go. Uh, and Wait, then he, he's rolling up on us? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Holy fuck! Oh, let's he, go! He's gonna step over here. Uh, Sylvester. Oh, he stepped aside? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm going to try to kill his, uh, his other friend. Okay. Another blast. Okay, yeah, you, you, hit. yeah, you're just, you're just blasting him away. Okay, cool, 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 cool. That's me. Okay. Uh, this one, this one's going to run up. Uh, Turg, you're going to get, uh, a short bow. Uh, so this guy's got, uh, lowered right. AC now. Uh, 14 does not hit. Things off his armor. Uh, what's Barry doing? I know Barry's invisible. Uh, Barry's gonna fly in. Okay. Uh, if I can get him, he's colliding with things. Hang on. He's gonna fly in. And I'm gonna have him get uh, behind Yeg while okay. invisible. All he's right. Hang out. Uh, Tommy. Uh, Tommy's gonna peek around this door because he can't really see. Um, oh shit, I still can't really see. Guess you're gonna have to walk in, Shmile. Hey, yeah, yeah. Every creature mm. up next is us, so you probably get you're probably you're right. I'm I'm cool to just take a look. Okay. I'm trying to see what this goblin is in the turn order, but I can't. You might be able to stand here. Oh, um, he's the three at the I bottom. Don't, I don't think so. Three mm -hmm. at the bottom. Yeah, that doesn't actually. Well, actually, yeah, you know what? Yeah, fuck it. Uh, I'm going to cast Chrono Madness on this goblin. Okay, let's see it. Oh. Uh, he's going to have to make a wisdom save of 12. Oh, my God. He does. Bruh. Oh, my God. He, he takes the, 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 sim, the symbol crowd, grabs it, just crushes it, like pulls no! it apart. <laughs> oh. Throws it on the ground. Nat 20. Oh he should be smart enough to be like, I'm going to go, too. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's been good. <coughs> Gabriel. Okay. Um, wow. Uh, we're going to move in. Okay. I see a bunch of lads. Yes. Uh, we're in a scorching ray. Okay. <laughs> uh, first start's going to be against this guy. Okay. Uh, that hits seven points of damage, and the goblin is bloody. Second dart's going to be against that guy. Which guy? The same guy. Okay. Uh, that hits. Ignites in flames. Uh, corpse just falls down to the ground. Uh, next one's going to be this guy. Okay. Last dart. Uh, that hits. Also lights. Yeg turns her over. Looks back at you. Uh, Gero puts up the peace sign and then immediately fades back through the doorway. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, uh, I'm gonna stab him. Yeah, uh, come here, you bitch! He says in common. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Language! Holds up the Yo. fried pad. 
I'm gonna bitch your head in. Technically, Michael's in invisible. Uh. Mm, yeah, so since so you can't see him, you don't have, uh, I would say you don't have flanking. Okay, not getting distracted, right? Yeah. Um, okay. Then I will stab him the old fashioned way, right through the throat. <laughs> Does it? Jesus. <laughs> and you know what? I had a menacing attack on that. Oh my god. Jesus. Now Yeg is bloody. Right. Crit uh, that too, baby. Oh yeah, that's right. Here we go. Oh yeah. That's another four points of damage. Still standing, yet bloodied. Let's make a wheezy save. Oh, yeah, that's right. Give me a second. Uh, wisdom saving throw. Here we go. Uh, fails. Frightened. Oh, they will stab me. Action surge. <laughs> what uh, the fuck? I stab him. Do you get action surge uh, on a short rest? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> he just falls down dead. <laughs> ah, draw the sword out, wipe it, flick it off. Uh, how far did I move? Let's go for... Do, do, do. This... Poor goblin. <laughs> Enter. Uh, nah, fuck you. <laughs> He's just gonna immediately crawl under the table. <laughs> <Second opportunity. laughs> no, he's he's disengaging with the oh, nipple yeah, escape. Oh, he's a goblin, of yeah. yeah, so he's just like, nope, nope. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't know about the Eldritch Spear. Uh, he's running and he's just screaming in goblin. <laughs> Uh, and uh, I'm gonna be adding some more goblins to the initiative now. No, not more goblins. Don't they see what we did to Yeg? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that guy looks cool. He's looking the other way. <laughs> Damn! You hear a pound on the door, the door on the other side. All right. Two, one, two, one, two. Uh, gonna shoot a short bow over at uh, Turg. That's gonna miss. Crit it. Uh, this one is also gonna start walking forward a little bit. Uh, gonna also do a short bow at Turg. That's also going to miss. We're the, we're the reason the next generation of goblins raids people and attacks people on the streets. They were already we doing the that. <laughs> they were I'm already attacking people on I the streets. I bet that's because when they were young, they saw a group of adventurers like us slaughter their people. It's a All cycle, right. man. All right, Sylvester. Sylvester's gonna walk in so he can see. And then uh, seeing this guy is going to use his action to have Michael do his attack on his turn. Okay. Barry, it doesn't, none of this matters, Barry. <laughs> none of this matters. <laughs> none of these names matter. He's gonna get behind this guy, okay. the leader, and sting him. Twenty-two. Holy shit! All right, uh, that's going to be twelve points of damage, and it's now bloody. Is that boss? Oh, I targeted the wrong one. My bad. Bloodied. Sure, we're good there. Yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, Michael appears. All right. Next up, uh, this guy's going to turn over uh, now that Michael's back. Uh, and we're gonna do a good old-fashioned uh, multi-attack. We first start with the uh, Ooh, scimitar. No, not Barry. Uh, 16 to hit. That'll be three points of damage. And then crushing down with the scimitar again. Critical miss. Tommy, it's your turn. Mm, I gotta, I gotta get in, get in view of what's actually going on again. Mm -hmm. Fuck! I still can't see any. Oh no, really? now I do. I can see them. Yeah, I see them now. Actual um, height issue. Oh my god. See over the barrels. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Holy shit. Um <laughs> oh, that's the baker. Magic missile. I'm casting magic missile. Oh on, sorry, um, sorry, before before you go, uh, oh. apparently I had I had another goblin boss, so I'm gonna do this real quick. Uh uh flanking uh Barry. Flanking uh, Barry. Yep. Minus no, two. No, not Barry. Yo, Minus. I'm changing my mind. Uh, and then minus four. All right. Barry's tanking it, dude. All right, now it's Tommy's turn. Yeah, Magical I'm changing my mind. Resistance. I'm actually going to cast... Yeah, this is going to land one of these days. I'm going to cast Crown of Madness on this. All you right. can make it land. I, I, I know I can make it land. I'm saving it for, like, an emergency. I don't Whatever. know how big this cast was. <clears throat> yeah. I feel like yeah, the emergency really creature sure. was going to be beak brain. Mm -hmm. 
But Bruh. no, it's also fair to say. I feel like statistically speaking, it has a more than 50% chance to land, but that, it is what it is. Oh shit, I should have moved. Anyways. Ooh, it's all right. Moving Gabriel. Uh, ooh, I immediately see the lads. Okay. Um, <laughs> they all appear to be pouring in from that direction, right? Yep. Okay, I'm going to cast Cloud of Daggers. Okay. God damn. damn. Uh, we're going to put it right Good. there. Okay. Uh, you have to put it, you actually will have to put it on a square. You can't share four squares. I thought it was a five foot. It is. That was a cube. Uh, yeah, five feet on each side. So. Oh, hold on one, one second. Block. Five. What does a five foot cube look like? D and D five e. D and D five e has the weirdest fucking things. I think it's just a normal square. Oh yeah, you're right. You could do that. Yeah, you're good. You can do that. Pog. It's just. Uh, I wish this was a 4E area of effects. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, right. Flex of scales begin to ripple off of his body, and as mm -hmm. they do, they begin to swirl in this bladed uh, tornado right here. All right. That's just instant damage. So seven points there, and uh, this boy uh, gets slashed up and goes down. And we're going to gonna move on over. <laughs> All right. Cloud of Daggers is weird because it like double dips because you, when you start your turn, you also take the damage. Yep, yeah, it's, it's just like Moonbeam. Yep. It's so weird. Oh, if it's Moonbeam, then the damage would initially start because we it was ruled that the damage only goes uh, at the start of the turn or if someone enters it for the first time. But when you first cast the spell, it doesn't yes, go off. Yes, but those are rulings we made in post. We have to follow all rules as written because we're doing a hardcore game where we follow the rules as written from the book. Hate you, tomato. Fucking I'm hate you. Saying, like, that's, that's just how it <laughs> is. Whatever. Fine. Turg, it's your turn. Moonbeam and Cloud of Daggers is broken. Let's go. <laughs> Hell for the DM. Yeah, step into Cloud. I'm going there. <laughs> You just auto take damage. Don't Fine, go whatever. <laughs> I'll stand on the outside of the daggers and I'll, I'll throw a javelin at this. Hey, guy. hey, chat. Hey, hey, chat. Uh, I win because my players are having fun and doing whatever the fuck they want, okay? I am not a loser. Stop saying that. Jesus. The only losers are the people who say DML. Thank, thank you. This is, this is this is my relationship with Tomato. He tears me down so he can build me back up. Uh, the Javelin will miss, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, give me a second. I have to do a thing. So, wait, is that Cloud of Daggers? Yeah, yes, it is. Question is, how smart are goblins and would they run into a Cloud of Daggers? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna find out. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that guy's still alive! He's still going for it. He's just banging on all the doors! <laughs> okay. Fuck that guy. <laughs> A top of the guy. A top of the guy. Uh, <laughs> short bow <laughs> over a turg. That's gonna miss. You guys wanted to clear this dungeon. I'm, I'm going to make sure you clear this fucking dungeon. That's seven points, baby. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sylvester. Sylvester's going to step in. <laughs> Your XP's running away, sir. going to step a little more in. <laughs> step a little more in. Oh. Hang on. He's going to step in the last little bit. Damn, I can almost see the fucker. <laughs> 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 I think that was my max movement. Hang on. You're a lucky piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, like, we're pulled yeah, the I'm whole gonna... dungeon, baby. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm gonna use my uh, use my action to uh, have very stab this fucking guy. Okay. On his turn. Uh, oh, I do it on my turn right now. Before Barry gets tragically murdered. That's so good. For Mm hmm. All right. Uh, that misses. Damn. No. 
Don't kill him. <laughs> All right. Uh, who's next? Ah, this one. Okay. Barry. Oh. Hey, can uh, how high is this cloud of daggers? Can hey, why is it like Barry again? Hold up. How do, how do it we... is. Oh, it is Barry again. Yeah, sorry. Five foot cube, so it's five feet tall. Actually, this uh, is where Barry would have attacked with the sting and missed. Oh, I thought that I thought that if I ordered the attack, it happened on. Oh wait, yeah, you're right because yeah, you been you've been using it, it as a reaction. you've been preparing it. Yeah, yeah, that's where I got confused. Okay, now it's Barry's uh, I'm turn. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have uh, Barry fly over the cloud of daggers and um, get out of there. Okay. Have him practice a little bit of self-preservation. Good for Barry. Because yeah, Barry is... Now. Oh, yeah. Barry is definitely bloodied. Yeah, I'm going to have him quietly kind of go towards that asshole that he's on snitching on. <laughs> <laughs> like a wasp you pissed off? Yeah, he could definitely <laughs> fit in that small crevice. Like, oh, it yeah. keep going. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Uh, steps up, sees the cloud of daggers. Uh, going to go for uh, two shots with the short bow. Uh, miss. Uh, miss. This is over at the wall that is uh, Turg. Tommy. Mm -hmm. um, I am going to... Running out of spell slots. Not really, but I'm going to cast Magic Missile on uh, this goblin here. Let's see it. Pew, pew. Uh, cat. The cat. All right. Cats. That's uh, six points of damage. The goblin is now bloody. All right. Oh, okay. Gabriel. Why am I bloodied? Oh, oh, oh that's... Whoa, what <laughs> I was, happened? I was, trying, I was trying to select... <laughs> I was trying to select the goblin, and then when it went to turn, it selected you, yeah. Oh. Ten feet. Uh, you know what? I'm also going to magic missile. I'm going to split it up. Uh, this guy's going to get th uh, two darts. This guy's going to get one dart. Okay. All right, that's going to be... You said this guy's getting two darts? Mm-hmm. All right, so that's six points of damage. Uh, and this one goes down. You are just... Ah! Ah! <laughs> she <laughs> screams her throughout the castle. Uh, once again, creating that bow, shooting off the ephemeral arrows. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 30. We're going to start looking for that asshole through the little crevice. He's making oh. a lot of noise. It's easy to find. All right, uh, it is now Turg's turn as the cloud of daggers blocks your way. Uh, javelin to the one in front of me. Let's see it. You could probably jump that actually with your jump speed. I have to jump over there, right? Yeah, and you also don't have a. You have to make a. Are you talking about the, the athletics? Athletics jump uh, distance? I think so. I thought he could jump that. Like, do like a jump and make it over it. Uh, long jump. Uh, when you make a long jump, you cover a number of feet equal to your strength score. If you have, if you move at least ten feet on foot immediately before the jump, so we ah, have to run yeah, back and then run. run forward. Yeah, and then he would uh, immediately land in the cloud of daggers. <laughs> I'll, I'll drop it next round. I'm sure. <laughs> you can drop I mean, it now. I think you can drop it at will. You can drop it whenever. Oh, then yeah, I'll drop it now, so he oh. doesn't have to throw the javelin. Oh, come around to the back of this fella. What the? Walk around and <laughs> casually. What the? Heck? Bring up the blade. Oh. Uh, apparently, this guy's been sleeping the whole time, so I'm going to roll initiative for that <laughs> goblin. Oh. oh, wakes up a little bit. Okay. Uh, the 24 8, uh, it hits. Uh, eight points of damage. And I do menacing attack. Uh, five points of damage. Now, let me do a wisdom saving throw. Uh, yeah, that's a nat. That's a <laughs> dirty zero right there. Yeah, that's about what Jeez. you'd be asking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's more like it. Uh, that, that's why I'm a ten. All right, who uh, who's na oh my favorite goblin? One, two. <laughs> Fucking see him! I just saw him. I saw where he went. <laughs> Little rat. Okay, <laughs> cut him off in the other hallway. <laughs> we just gotta go around. <laughs> 
Yes! Oh, oh it's blanking! It didn't hit. Sylvester. <laughs> yes! The crew against Bahama. I, was... yeah, I guess Sylvester's gonna try to shoot this guy. Okay. <laughs> Just foot body falls dead. <laughs> this is a loud one. <laughs> You're gonna go to like the other side. I hear this guy running this way. I'm gonna try to cut him up. I don't care. I'm gonna fucking kill him. I'm gonna fucking He's on the hunt. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking find him. <laughs> I just thought it'd be fun if we pulled the entire dungeon, you know? One, two, one, two. Can no more gonna lie. Two. I just said that, my friends. Uh, oh, Thanks. hold on. <laughs> I got you back here. Fuck Taro God. <laughs> and... <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker. Woo! That's a miss. <laughs> Turg the wall continues again, baby. Five, ten, five, ten. Five, ten. Let's go for the scimitar. Oh, sorry, let me uh, roll one more, because that was actually, I forgot, these guys have multi-attack. Finally, a that hit. Does hit. Oh, uh, oh, my I'm God. I'm going to use uh, my parry. No, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> no, okay, you're this not. Always, this always rolls ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, double. <laughs> that's, that's fine. That's fine. That's still five points of damage. Okay, so this one's coming in uh, scimitar blazing, uh, missing both its... Let's fucking go. Uh, Barry. <laughs> Barry will use his action. Oh, sorry. I can't parry a, uh, a bug. My bad. Oh, shit. Then you'll take two more points of damage. It's good to know. Uh, what is Barry doing? Barry's going to use his action to go invisible. Okay. And then I'm going to have him also... Just fly <laughs> through the crack. <laughs> He's going to go right through the crack, and I want him to... Follow the fucking screaming. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bruh, I do not see any enemies. <laughs> what's, what's going on? Um, what's happening behind on. those barrels? Oh, shit. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Stop. Oh, my God. It's actually, actually a height thing. I actually couldn't see. Can <laughs> <laughs> you hit that? <laughs> You all blocked me. Oh my god. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast crossbow bolt on that one. Um, on the on this one. Yeah, on that one. Okay, let's see it. You ready? Yep. Oh my yeah, god. Finally, oh. Tommy. Finally. Yeah, through, the, through the fucking oh, head. <laughs> Goblin Slayer's back, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Feels good, man. Okay. Uh, we're moving on back now. I hear there's still action going on. All right. Yep. We're going to spend a sorcery point, uh, and I'm going to twin spell uh, Ray of Frost. Uh, one against this guy. One against this guy. Okay. First one. And second. One. Okay. Uh, so wait. hit that guy. Eighteen to hit that guy. Okay, so 21 to hit this guy. Yep, that hits. Seven points of damage. And then uh, one for this guy. 18. Let me double check that. Uh, yeah, that hits. One point of damage. Perfect. And I believe their that lowers speed. their movement speed by 10. Indeed. All right. And then uh, we move back up. <laughs> That's my turn. All right. Uh, Turk. Step down and I stab. Oh, my God. Yes, sir. Uh, that'll hit uh, for 13 points of damage. It is now bloody. Okay. Wait, how mm. much damage did I take before I took uh, seven? Seven. Uh, no, I'm good for now. All right, next up is... Oh, my favorite goblin. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think this mic broke. Oh, yep. <laughs> More goblins join the fray. Who the fuck is that? Goblin. Lupo. Who the fuck Lupo? is Lupo? 
Yo, Lupo joins the fray. Okay, uh, is some activities gonna happen? All right, another creature joins the fray. What the fuck? Okie dokie. Who the fuck is, is, what is going Sylvester? On? Uh, let's see here. Oh, well... God. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> Sylvester knows oh, that he I'm heard he rich. heard him running this way. Uh, so since I have no visual on anything right now and there's only one guy left over there, I'm going to prepare my action to shoot anything that comes from this hallway. All right. For the time being. Uh, by the way, uh, I would like to inform you all, you have successfully pulled the entire castle. Nice. nice. <laughs> We've got this. <laughs> we'll be fine. Uh, let me just see if I can move over here. <laughs> Actually, no, there's like a rock there. I can't move over there, so it'll be... Yeah, that works. All right, here we go. Uh, scimitar and then scimitar. Oh, my oh, God. Bro. Almost. Oh. Almost, dude. Almost. Hey, a one is just as far away as 19 to me, okay? Yep. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> oh, my God. That grip uh, Michael, the uh, by the way, uh, Michael uh, sees an acolyte running up. Okay. That's about 10 feet away from Michael. Okay. Uh, now we're gonna do a little step, and now I'm gonna flank. That hits. Uh, right. You can parry this. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 He does. Uh, and then a normal hit. That misses. Ooh. Okay. That's the movement speed on this guy. Ooh, that's fun. Uh, Michael will see uh, this thing moving oh, over. Oh, God. What the fuck <laughs> okay. is that? All right. Oh, God. Tommy saw it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, Michael. Or Barry. God damn it. Uh, I, I want Barry to follow the strange snake-like creature in and melee range. Please. And so he shall. He is now in melee range with the creature. Okay, uh-huh, 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 mm-hmm, 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 all right. Tommy. Uh, Tommy's going to throw, oh, I only have 25 feet of movement speed. Move up one. I still can't see any enemies from here, but that's okay, because he was supposed to post up at this window, um, so I'll just... All right. You know what? Fuck it. I'll, yeah, I'll sprint. I'll just sprint up to it. It's not like Hell. I'm doing anything else with this turn. Hell yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Gabriel. All right, we go back down. I see a goblin harrying my friend. We're going to step out a little bit. Step out a little bit more. <laughs> All right. I see two goblinos. Mm -hmm. We're going to spend another sorcery point. I'm going to twin cast another cantrip. Okay. Uh, I'm going to twin cast Chill Touch. First one's going to be against this guy. Uh, the top one? The bloodied one? Okay. Uh, that hits. Hit. Four points of damage. Dead. All right. Nice. Second one. Uh, that misses. Okay. Uh, so much blood. Tug. There's something coming, by the way. A worm. I'll kill this one quickly and I'll go alive. Uh, should be. <laughs> All right, okay. Turk. I will get back to my friends. I want to get it quick. Uh, that hits 10 <laughs> points of damage. Uh, the goblin is bloodied. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to be such a disrespectful <laughs> guy. I'm going to take a five foot to the, the left like I'm being impatient. <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Uh-huh. 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 U
Uh, let me see. I believe for I gave. Ah <laughs> yes. All right. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, so uh, Lupo, by the way, uh, for his hardcore ability, uh, I gave him spells. So let's begin. Bastard. Head of coal. Bless. Oh. Yo, he could cost Revivify. <laughs> we need to capture him now. We just have to capture this fucking idiot. Sylvester. Uh, oh, as yeah. a friendly reminder, you've got uh, Barry behind the creature. Oh, yeah. Sylvester is going to walk back into the room. And then he's going to use his action to have Barry attack whatever he's near. Uh, that'll, be at, ad, that'll be at advantage. Uh, can you roll that for me since I can't see Barry's I can. I miss. You can't yell at me, though. Oh! 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 Uh, you hear the sound of a large serpent uh, immediately falling down to the ground, dead. <laughs> oh my god! Jeez! Holy Barry. shit, Barry! That's Barry. gruesome. All right, Sylve <laughs> Sylvester. How many damage hit for thirty-one damage? <laughs> oh, what's happening here? Uh, no steps way. out. <laughs> that lazy good for nothing. Um, twelve and six. My God. Uh oh. <laughs> it begins. Yeah, put him down. Uh, scimitar over to the uh, to over to Barry. Uh, that'll miss. I think Barry has like a 12 AC or 11 AC. No, 13. <laughs> that was yeah. taken so damn well. Uh, Barry. You would roll a D4, wouldn't he? Barry is. It, I believe it. It added. It added the oh, D4. Jesus. I rolled a two. <laughs> He's going to use his action to go invisible and uh, fly out of reach up vertical. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think the I think we said it was 10 feet up or 15 yeah. feet up. That'll be his turn. Okay. <laughs> Swings at something that just felled a terrible looking monster and then it turns invisible. I would <laughs> shit my pants. <laughs> a goblin acolyte joins the fr as joined the uh joined ah, the fight. Did you see all the one? Look at all the bodies there are, though. How's that? How's this guy handle turning the corner? Because we had to do like so wisdom messed. saves at certain points for like how fucking bad the scenes are. Oh, like, um. This guy feeling? Oh, like this. And this goblin heals for three hit points. Oh! The disrespect, Tommy. <laughs> uh, everyone keeps on just running past his window before he can fight them, so he's gonna start to move back towards where the action is happening, baby. God, I can't believe you guys pulled the full fucking castle. <laughs> Not like we... <laughs> that one goblin pulled the castle. <laughs> yeah, oh my yeah. god. Can I... Back? No, I still, I still can't see shit. Whatever. I'll, I'll end my turn there. <laughs> okay. Uh, Gabriel. All right. Gently putting a hand on Tommy's shoulder to move past sees not only this goblin mm -hmm. <laughs> who's this asshole <laughs> waves his hands <laughs> covered in uh in healing magic magic missile <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're gonna do all three darts on this guy yeah roll a two all right yeah immediately <laughs> and then the falls down dead <laughs> Don't wave at me, asshole, and then I move on back. <laughs> Dirk. Okay. Uh, fun fight, didn't it? Uh, ooh, that does not hit. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Stop ah. saying it before you swing, dude. Yeah, but it's cool if it hits. <laughs> <laughs> Let me double check that make sure, yep, yeah, and the modifiers are flood. Oh, it's my favorite little guy. Like hey, uh, a goblin has escaped from the castle. Motherfucker. <laughs> See, I told you, next generation. 
<laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Sylvester. Sylvester is, uh... Everyone's like, out. everyone's like, he ran away? Of course he ran away! Are you kidding me? Yeah, it's just so terrifying. Actually, actually... <laughs> Can yes. Barry see this fucking Lupo guy? Uh, Barry is currently 15 feet in the air. Uh, yeah, so... I don't know if you can see him. Uh, let me see real quick. Let me turn on vision for Barry. No! You see, <laughs> however, he does see it. right below him uh, a goblin acolyte walking uh, over to you guys. Okay. I'm gonna help Turg fucking shoot this guy because... This is this is bad. This guy mm -hmm. needs to fuck off. Twenty for six. Uh, that'll hit six points of damage. Damn, this dude's still kicking. I uh, still kicking. Yeah, I'm afraid so. Buster's <laughs> gonna like we start walking. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it takes, man. All right. Uh, here we go. Scimitar. Woo! That's gonna be four Ooh. damage unless you're parrying. All right. That's gonna be three damage. Nice. Uh, and then one attack at disadvantage. Uh, that misses. All right. Okay, so this guy's gonna bump, 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 bump. Uh oh. How many are Uh, where was I? Oh yeah. He heals. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Uh, what would you like Barry to do? I want Barry behind this guy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm going to end his turn. He just sits down and is now behind uh, the Acolyte. I take a peek. I'm going to shoot this guy with a crossbow. Let's see it. Kapew. Miss. He misses. Uh, Gabriel. I come back down. There's literally another goblin in the same place. <laughs> I go, <"Whoa." laughs> how many of you are there? Man? <laughs> so many. <laughs> There's like uh, a castle be... filled with them. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be two darts against this guy. One dart against this guy. All right, let's see it. All right, that's four points of damage and uh, two points of damage. <laughs> He's just sort of like claps his hands on his waist. Are you serious? <laughs> Turn. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> Seven <laughs> points of damage. He's not dead? Nope. <laughs> Keep it together, man. Uh, it's still your turn, Turg. <laughs> What's going oh. on in his head, do you think? He's probably in immense pain. Yeah, oh yeah, horrible. He, pain. He's got. He's just got this huge just slash across him. He's just holding his wounds. Uh, Turg, you have to. Oh, second wind. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Hell. I love it. <laughs> hey, you see someone running by. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, right there is good. Sylvester. Uh, Sylvester's gonna use his action to have Barry fucking sting this guy. Let's see it. That's gonna be at. Oh, sorry. You want me to do it? Yeah. Uh, that does not hit. It's a damn shame. Damn Sylvester's shame. Sylvester's gonna walk up into melee range with this guy to flank and oh. just look as <laughs> defenseless as possible. And I'll, I'd even let him hit through my AC if I have to. He's just looking at you. <laughs> you can kill me. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, no, fuck you. You're a defenseless <laughs> old man. I'm attacking Turk. Uh, miss. <laughs> 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 miss. <laughs> He's fighting against this dwarf. Yeah, he wants Turk dead. I'm not even hot. Oh, you do it. <laughs> uh, holds up Scimitar. Uh, this will be an advantage. 17 misses. Really? Uh, Barry. 
Barry is not invisible right now. Uh, yeah, Barry's also going to move behind this guy while visible. We're just going to make a fucking <laughs> whole line here. <laughs> whole fucking oh, Kaga no. line. Let's go. Tommy. Human center flank. <laughs> um, fuck, fucking whatever. Magic missile. Okay. Let's see it. Uh, one missile kills him. Uh, what would you like to do with the other two? Uh, two into the acolyte. All right. Uh, this one also dies. That's one down. Uh, you have one missile that's just kind of going haywire around the area. <laughs> it's like a bird stuck in a house. <laughs> and it just hits the corner. <laughs> I'm going to wave it like a wasp. Smacks at the windows. <laughs> Smacks with the broom, dude. We are still at initiative. Uh, Gabriel. Oh, my God. <laughs> How... How are there so many goblins? It's infested. <laughs> this we makes no sense. We have to no eradicate sense. them. We have to burn this entire castle to the ground. I'm going to hold my action. Okay. I know that there's an asshole coming this way. <laughs> uh, I'm going to pelt him in the face with a firebolt the moment he rounds the corner. <laughs> Understood. Which corner is he coming from ahead of us? He's coming from here. <laughs> Turk. Yeah, I'm just gonna hold my action and ready a javelin. Okay. Actually, no. Uh, is there a way I can step so I'm? Yeah, right there. Okay, and then when he pops through, I, would I, am I within five yes. there? Okay. Yep. Yep. I'll ready my sword to stab him. Okay. <laughs> do 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, motherfuckers! <laughs> <laughs> Let's get those ready to actions. All right. Wow. <laughs> Wow, we okay. Seventeen <laughs> points of damage. Let me make two Constitution saving throws to maintain. Uh, Bless goes down. He's bloodied. Hello. <laughs> okay. Uh, and I'm just gonna say. Wait, on, do you want to capture this guy so we have a riverfight, idiot? Uh, <laughs> by uh, instinct, around. he takes the impact. Oh, it clutches onto his heart. Healing himself for four. I swear. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> Sylvester. <laughs> he is bloodied though. <laughs> That's that that hasn't changed. Sylvester's gonna walk up. Can uh yeah, I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna use my action to have Michael uh Sting him? Poison him. Oh yeah, he's gonna sting him. Wonder if Michael would know how to non lethally sting a goblin. You could command him to <laughs> do that. I mean you're able to do that. You actually yeah, I mean, this dude, it's, it's like we need someone to cast Revivify, okay? I'm just saying. You guys can stop me. Wait a minute, let him cook. Oh. But, like, we don't Wait have someone minute. to fucking do it. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm down to see where this he goes. He cast Bless too, dude. I'm down to he see where this bless goes. He cast Bless and Cure Wounds. Wait, 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 yeah. wait, let him cook, okay? Let's fucking... Let's fucking <laughs> go. That's all I'm saying. 19 non-lethal. All right. Uh, can we do a non-lethal poison? Yeah, sure, whatever. Uh, so the sting, uh, will, uh, yeah, knock him, knock him unconscious. Ending the encounter. <laughs> okay. All right, the, up with my rope. uh, the yeah. entire dungeon has been cleared. Uh, talk amongst yourselves. I have to tally some shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good I'm job. going to climb up to the highest tower I could find and see if I could kill the last one while he runs. Keep this an initiative, DM. <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Please, which, way did he, which way did he run? Did he run out the front fucking door? Uh, you're gonna... <laughs> hold up. Damn, I need your prescription glasses, dude. <laughs> go and roll, go and roll. This is it. 15 for 11 days. <laughs> That's so good. And he's, uh, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> good shit. Holy fuck. We did it. We saved Pendolin. <laughs> we did. Good job, Tommy. <laughs> Hey, I got some, uh, quest complete. <laughs> Holy so shit. many fucking bombs. Another one for my resume. <laughs> this adventuring stuff is so bloody. <laughs> this, this place is littered with like a what fucking like 20 <laughs> corpses. <laughs> <laughs> what the thickness of us like donuts. Oh. I feel donuts. 
uh, aspiring DMs, when you want uh, your uh, part, if your party wants to clear an entire dungeon and they want to do it now, 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 uh, fucking give it to them, you know? <laughs> Just. <laughs> you, have you guys, uh, you know the movie I'm Legend? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's based on a book, and the reason it's called I Am Legend is because mm. he realizes that uh, all the vampires have made a, a society and they are scared of him. And he realizes he's the legendary monster for them. And I feel like that's what we've become for that's Goblin Kind. That's fucking stupid, dude. Alright, Chuck's gonna sit at that table and eat food. Just eat whatever they've got. Alright, let me... Uh... Pilfer in pockets. All right, so I'm uh, adding some shit. <laughs> uh, short swords, uh, sh short <laughs> scimitars, short bows, and uh, leather armor. You have fun. Uh, I actually think the goblin. Oh, actually, mm, wait a minute. Uh, the goblin bosses, if I am correct, have on them. We should also bring that guy in here. Your guy? What yeah, do you mean? Your oh, guy. Yeah, the guy we uh, tied up. Our, our new, new best friend. Oh yeah. Our fifth party member. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to figure out if he out. speaks common. All right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, scimitars and short bows. And shields. And oh, and a chain shirt. They have uh, the, the bosses have chain shirts. Oh. Uh, the <laughs> uh, Yeg uh, has a specialized item I gave him. Uh, it is a essentially a mace, uh, but it is in the shape of a frying pan. Nice. So, so if you want to, you know, oh, sorry, it's a morning star in the shape of a frying pan. Oh. <laughs> okay. Anyways, let me. Uh, I got some adding to do. Hold on one second. By all means, take your time. <laughs> Please, dude. When this barely moves our XP meter, it is going to be <laughs> devastating for our fucking mental. All right, guys. Total uh, EXP for this encounter: three hundred. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. And we'll they, see. Well, we will, we will indeed see. And then, uh huh. And then I think there was, yeah, there's three more goblins. Do we get XP for ending all future generations of them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we, we did kill the secret final goblin outside. I will, uh, oh yeah, that's right. So that's 15. Okay. Um, I, uh, like we basically took down a nation. I, 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 I will be adding all the uh, XP and if it, it, I, I will take the number as it is. So let's see here. Oh, okay. So, uh huh. That's pretty good. Okay. And then this is a, okay. That's pretty good too. And then finally, oof. Goblins aren't worth much. <laughs> yeah, like a thousand each, right? <laughs> well, we also dirt. killed the Grick and the Grell. Yep, I have added that together. Divided by four, plus your 275. I don't actually remember what a Grick's CR rating is. Uh, <laughs> total experience for clearing out this area, 875 experience points. I'm tired, boss. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to destroy uh, three other castles. <laughs> No, oh, feels so good. <laughs> oh, sorry guys. Oh, hey, but like, hey, 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 we got a revivify scroll, and we got this idiot. Yep. How, how many generations we worth? gotta kill? He knows how to cast bless. Oh, that's right. Oh, no, no, no. I, I gave you experience as if you defeated him. You're good. You're good. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was about Not to. Me hovering my, my dagger over his head. My braid was was like, oh, but does he actually get it? All right, um, because, but <laughs> however, because you've cleared the entire dungeon, you're able to take your day, uh, a day here to look through everything, find all the crevices to get all the treasure. Would you like to do that now? Ooh, yes, please. please. All right. Uh, you find a chalice. You find a censer from the, uh, the chapel, uh, that the acolytes were in, uh, in the storeroom. Ah, um, described to you by Sildar uh, was the you actually recognize uh, in one of the boxes of the storeroom is his gear, his chainmail, longsword, and heavy crossbow. Oh, neat! Oh, right, yeah, we need Sildar's a sword. Gear. Mm -hmm. So, chalice, a censer, Sildar's gear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Contin no blonde woman with eyebrows. Oh, you do no, you do not find, uh, you do not mm -hmm. find the woman. Uh. 
Mounted to the walls, you find five spears, four long swords, three morning stars, two great swords, and a, f- and a fine quarter staff. The quarter staff is engraved with stylized feathers. Uh, it is actually lighter than a normal quarter staff, and it is worth ten gold pieces. Oh, if you would like that. I mean, I can use that. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it's actually a lighter quarter staff, so you're good to go there. Neat. Uh, Sorry, so it was five spears, five long swords. Uh, yeah, give me one second. I'm checking everything, and that's... Oh! Uh, a stone brazier uh, contains a mound of coal buried under which was a gold statuette of a sun elf. Which that was? That's gonna be worth some mine. I'll just okay. tell you. I'll, t- I'll tell you what everything's worth because you're spending y- your day here. Are you? Do you want to spend the entire day here, just kind of like gathering everything? I'm yeah, assuming we, that's what you do. We, yeah. We could. Yeah, and then we can make sure that if any other goblins show up, we kill them when they walk in. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they're gonna walk in. It's gonna be dead quiet, and then they're gonna be like, "Oh, dinner's ready," and then they roll <laughs> in. And it's a mountain of corpses. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, chalice, the chalice is worth 180 gold pieces, the censer is worth 120 gold pieces, the gold statuette of a sun, elf, is worth 150 gold pieces. Uh, you find Sildar's gear, uh, and then you also find, if you're looking at the mundane weapons, five spears, four long swords, three morning stars, two great swords, and a fine quarterstaff. And uh, that is everything in this. Yep, that is that's that's everything. Chalice, sensor, Sildar's gear, five spears, one quarter staff, four long swords, one gold statue of an elf, three morning stars, two great swords. Yes. I don't know if you guys <laughs> want to take the mundane weapons or not. And then it's a a billion different scimitars and short swords and all the other stuff from all the goblins. Yeah, it's about uh, I think in in total. Uh, you're looking at 21 scimitars, 21 uh, short bows, 15 leather armor, f- six chain shirts, and 21 shields. You said six leather? Yes. Or 15 leather? Oh, 15 leather uh, armor and six chain shirts. Gotcha. Not sure if you're taking all of this because of inventory, but uh, yeah. I'm just writing down notes. Ah, gotcha. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming you'll be taking the Chalice Sensor Golden Statuette of a Sun Elf and the Fine Quarterstaff and Sildar's gear. Is that correct? Uh, Sildar's Chainmail. Yeah, is it embroidered? Does it, is, does it look like standard chainmail? Uh, yes, it does look like worn standard chainmail. I feel like Sildar can go with that. It's, that's a very heavy piece. If I pick that up, I'm not going to be able to carry much else for us. Mm, how yeah, but it? do you think that in <laughs> handing that in, it would be considered completing some kind of quest? He did ask us to find his gear. Quest. Completing objectives is worth experience, you see. That's true. That's true. But what do you tell the difference between a chain shirt? We'll just say it shrunk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll pick up his gear, but I do think uh, it might overburden me, so I don't think I'm going to be able to carry it all. Uh, so you're picking up a chain shirt, is that correct? Yeah. Uh, chain, right. His chain mail. Is it or chain, chain mail. Chain mail, uh, chain mail, sorry. First turn. Yeah, yeah, oh, there he is. He's sitting down eating. I forgot about that. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, you did have a chain shirt, and then you didn't have a chain shirt, and now you, you know have a chain do? shirt you again. We should pack it up, the scimitars, the short bows and stuff, because then we can talk to Lynette at the uh, at the Lion Shield, or Lenine at the Lion Shield coster. And be mm-hmm. like, hey, we have more supplies for you. You just have to head over to Kragmaw. We cleared it out. There's 20-something scimitars, 20-something short bows. Dude, she's going to get ganked by 15 ghouls on the road. She went into Kragmaw Castle last time. It was closer. It was farther away than this is. Yeah, she she went to Kragmaw Keep, which was farther. Mm, okay, okay. Indeed. Um, Yeah, so that is also a good idea if you want to pack things up. Yeah. I'm not too greedy. I'll just carry what I can. All right. Uh, so uh, you'll be you'll actually be able to carry uh, all the gear that I mentioned before, uh, Sildar's gear uh, and the uh, art objects that you found, the chalice sensor, 120, and all that stuff. Uh, what was the experience total? Uh, 875 is what I gave you before. 
Okay. Uh, where would you like to take your long rest today? Are you going back to to to, to Fandolin? Or are you sleeping here in the in the castle that is now cleared and empty? Seems like we just won ourselves a castle. I was yeah. about to. Uh, I, 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 I uh, actually, no. funny enough, I was about to say, yeah, you you wiped everybody out. Uh, it's an abandoned castle, but it could be home. You guys want to make this our home? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like central. It's like, yeah. Yeah. Holy shit! Did you guys just dragon. did you guys just get a base? <laughs> Is Wait, this my new home. <laughs> we could rent out the castle to people and earn a shit ton of gold. Mm -hmm. We could rent it out for market. parties and weddings. Holy. Uh, no weddings in the castle. What? Why not? Uh, um, how am I to supply all the catering? We All right. I just think it's a good venue. We might get some good money from it. Oh, yeah, that's true. But my wall is bigger than that fucking exp bar didn't move a goddamn inch. Sorry, guys. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> guys. <laughs> oh, Hardcore, oh. gotta do. I gotta play by the rules. <laughs> sorry, guys. <laughs> so. Uh, we are at time. Um, mm -hmm. Will you be doing your long rest here at the castle? At your mm -hmm. castle? Yeah, yeah, that'd be sick. Yeah. Okay, there Our are property now. Yeah, there are. There is bedding. There is all of that. Um, so you can absolutely do that. Um, what was I about to say? You can uh, spend the evening sort of cleaning up a room for us with Presty, so that way there's no goblin stink. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I'll drag a bunch of. Uh, goblins outside. Yeah, like, you know what? leave I'll... them all outside so people know. I'll... <laughs> yeah. I'll pour my full bottle of perfume across them to try and like hopefully deter any animals that might come eating. All it's right. Really cryo veins from coming to fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Haha. Uh, -ha. Very good. Okay. So you guys are at 4,306 experience points. Um... If you are still looking to for another grind session, there is Thunder Tree, which you have yet to explore. Um, I I personally do not know any of the uh, how much experience that will give you at the end of the day, and nor would I be able to tell you. So I cannot promise you that Thunder Tree would give you the I think at this point the two thousand and two hundred experience points you need. Because you did just wipe out a castle and got uh, a total of 875 experience from everything you've killed in here. Understandable. So, I ultimately, I leave it up to you, but I don't want to give you any false hope or promises. Um, Not false hope so much as it's also just like, you know, loot opportunities and stuff. That is also That's true. If yeah. Final encounter. We do so, have a quest in Thunder Tree that we never went and completed. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. It's worth doing. So next session, you guys are gonna go to let the castle respawn. Next, next <laughs> session, sorry. Next session, uh, you're gonna go to Thunder Tree. Is that? Uh, do I understand Sounds that correctly? Good. Oh my Sounds god! Good. And then after that, uh, if you if if major if if you clear Thunder Tree, um, you're doing Wave Echo. Yep. Holy Sounds shit! Good. It looks like we. Uh, yeah, it looks like uh, we've got uh, November fourth is going to be Thunder Tree. Uh, November 11th is going to and and, and like I and I told you guys before uh, Wave Echo is the finale of this of this part of uh, Lost Minds of Fandelver and that might be a longer one because that's like a big old like old fashioned D&D &D dungeon with like a bunch of rooms and shit like that to explore it's going to be the, your your biggest dungeon exploration Mega yet dungeon. Yeah, oh, so no, don't worry. We're just gonna accidentally find the boss room immediately. I don't think Wave Echo has any of that. <laughs> I, think, right. I think Wave Echo purposely was like, "Yeah, run the fucking dungeon." So, <laughs> like, yeah. So we'll we'll see what happens. All right. Well, guys, uh, it was delight as always. Thank you so much, missed you, missed you guys. I'm glad we got to do this again. And Thank you for running. Absolutely. And then we shall return. Uh, I don't think we've got. Oh, yeah. Let me check. I don't think we have bingo today. Oh, no bingo today. Uh, so uh, we will be back uh, next week. Sound good? Sounds good. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. Thanks, guys. I'll see you then. Thank Catch you. Catch around, homie. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.